Hey, we're back for some Ross Bunkin. We're doing Fall of Winter Home. So this is actually, if if you wanted the reason why I didn't really pick Survivor for all these, this is the reason right here. <laughs> I, I when I started doing a LP with this, I'm like, uh, the one the one I don't want to do on Survivor is Winter Home. I've actually never finished this on uh, Survivor, uh, and then kind of I pre-played this a bit. I I won, and then I'm like, uh, maybe I could have done it, but uh, I don't know. You know, at this point, <laughs> we're, we're sticking with the hard so. Uh, yeah, so it's pretty difficult, but not for the reasons you think. It's more kind of, kind of just annoying, because in Survivor you can't save, so you have to restart a lot. You can't make ch uh, checkpoints. There's a lot of points where you might want to reload or might make a mistake and go back. Uh, so, but I'll, I'll show you what it's all about. So, uh, the background lore for this is, uh, so Winterhome is a military city. Uh, and, well, that, that's that's a fundamental, and, and it predated New London by by just a little bit. It's 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 a little bit of an interesting scenario, but you can kind of guess by the name that well, and also by the 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 new home lore that it actually like it, it did fall. Uh, so and the name itself, you know, it's, it, that's what's going to happen. So how does it go down? Well, we'll see. It's a it's a bit of an interesting uh, kind of setup to it, but uh, we'll kind of uh, dive right in, right into it and we'll uh, get going. To whoever is out there, if anyone, know that we were here, we did our best. We, the survivors, doomed by our own mistakes, aware of the risks and the price to pay. We took our last chance. And we failed. Yeah, the rest of these do have an intro movie, which is really cool, so. Uh, the Fall of Winter Home. Our generator is malfunctioning. After the leader ignored the problem for weeks, unbearable cold and brutal uh, repress uh, repression drove us to rise up against him. He didn't go out down without a fight, and half the city was burned to the ground in the fighting. With the generator hastily patched up, your first task uh, as the new leader is to restore Winter Home to convince the people that it has a future. Then, you'll be able to investigate the cause of the general impunctions. Proceed. So, kind of an interesting setup here. So, wh whoever the guy was before was a major douchebag, and here we go. I will, I will outline this pretty well. Uh, we're going to spend a lot of time paused for the first, I think, 20 minutes here as I kind of walk you through what's uh, what's going on here. So so we start with the city uh, already. So it says, Restore City. The people are suffering in this badly planned, starving, half-ruined city. You have to restore their hope and quell their discontent. For, the, uh, for a start, remove the charred ruins to show that the city is recovering. Our engineer will inspect the generator once you deal with the present crisis. Okay. So... Immediately pause the game. So there's a couple things that um, are important to see. First off, 84 people died. That's it. So um, there is no, <laughs> there is no keeping everyone alive. Uh, and on top of that, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll basically kind of ruin it for you right now. Um, technically speaking, the best ending: only 500 people make it out. It, it, a maximum. So no matter what, <laughs> people are going to die. So people already died. <laughs> so, so I I'm gonna say for this mission, it's kind of annoying, and I'm gonna be a little bit more, I guess, liberal about when people die for the most part. Well, it's not like some RNG BS, which uh, we'll we'll kind of get into because I, I really hate RNG BS. Um, so we 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 start with a lovely city here, and obviously the previous captain was an absolute buffoon. And this is why it's kind of, this is why this is the most annoying mission, because it's like, it's like as if like a three-year-old basically kind of uh, messed around with the city. Like, look at these roads. Look at these roads. It's, I know it's just free wood, but seriously, look at these woods. So, uh, so roads, sorry, not woods. But, yeah, it's like so, someone messed around with it and like, yeah. <laughs> it's not, it's not enjoyable to restart this every time when you're doing, uh, kind of like this scenario for, 
when, when you're doing the scenario like for like many times on survivor because survivor you can't save so every time you make a minor mistake on survivor guess what you're doing you're basically tearing up the road again you know so and and you're tearing up the roads you're tearing up the the kind of like these uh basically these wooden ruins and, and all that kind of fun stuff so as we're doing so our objective right now is we have nine days 18 hours to turn on the generator on remove 30 ruins raise hope to 50 percent um reduce discontent to 25 percent so just re remove discontent is fairly easy uh it's not easy early on uh and and early on we could have some problems because we have some very key laws that we need to sign so i'm gonna just put someone in there so that will so if you put people in the public house, that should basically reduce the discontent if you have a problem with signing a law, at least early on, right away. Uh, but if we look at the Book of Laws, we can also see, see what this guy did. So again, once again, it doesn't beat around the bush. You can choose either uh, House of Prayer or Radio Bird Hot Watch. It's unlocked by default. We actually have to go through it pretty fast. And actually, I'm going to go the up route because I kind of played it. And then I kind of realized that I think Faith is much better than I originally gave it credit for. But yeah, uh, if you want to have the easiest time with this, like, you just gotta let a couple people die. Because <laughs> there's a couple events and stuff that it just, like, I, I kind of, like, did my first run trying to keep everyone alive, and I'm like, this is not worth it. To be honest, they're gonna fucking die anyways. So, <laughs> so just, like, whatever. I, I'm go so my, my, I've, I've reduced my, uh, my expectations to just try to get the best outcome possible in this mission, and that doesn't mean necessarily everybody makes it alive. So without going into too many spoilers. So you go into uh, adaption, and uh, so you can see uh, right now our our good our our pre predecessor was an absolute giga chad. I'm not sure why he, you can't just unsign laws. Like it was the previous guy, right? Like 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 what they really want to keep like child labor all jobs. Like it's this is a requirement. He did it. We must respect him. Like he's a total douchebag, and we're gonna keep this up here. But yeah, he was a giga chad. So you can send uh you can send the kids to the mines if you want to. Uh, <laughs> This is what it kind of starts you with. You get Finding Arena, and you also get Public House, which uh, he, knew, he knew what he was about. You also get Corpse Disposal, which is the superior choice as well. So, I mean, uh, if you're planning on letting a lot of people die, I guess you don't have the option of doing the, the other funerals and kind of thing, so. But the thing we need right away is, and this is kind of the problem that you kind of start with, you have 39 sick and 11 gravely, and it will, it will progressively get worse. The reason being is that a lot of these tents and stuff are outside of heat zones, so they're going to get ill. So one of the major challenges, at least early on with this scenario, is the fact that you're going to get people sick. Uh, and I mean, it's just naturally. And you also have 580 people. So it's just like medical infrastructure is going to get overwhelmed. It, it's just a reality of the situation. It's going to happen. So people are going to get sick. And this is like only 430. So I think some more people are going to get sick as the day starts. Uh, so dealing with that ASAP is kind of the the main priority so the way we kind of deal with that is and, and I don't think there's any other way to do it you go sustain life uh, sorry not sustain life uh, radical treatment and you go into overcrowding so you need to get those sick out of the hospital's ASAP and I, I, I don't like I think everybody does this uh, but that's the way you go so discontent will rise slightly so if you don't have enough discontent like I said putting people in the public house I think will do it but I don't know. I, I, I haven't played. It, I haven't played this on Survivor, so I won't even. I won't even lie. Well, okay. I, I attempted it, but decided not to do it. <laughs> Let's just go with that. I attempted it. Uh, okay. So with that being said, so we we signed our first law. Uh, we can go look at our research. And so for the very first thing I always research with this is I will just do medical post upgrade because that's like a ten percent bonus of getting people out of the medical post ASAP. Not a bad option. Uh, oh yeah, and we, we uh, sorry, I didn't even look at like what, what's already in the research tree. So what the previous guy did was under food and shelter, he has bunk houses and houses. So we do have some, some houses around, but he didn't make a whole lot of them, uh, is what it, what he kind of did. We have hunter's gear, fly, um, no flying hunters yet. We do, we do have hot houses. We're not going to make those though, because we, we do have a lot of workers. So we don't really need hot houses. I, I don't I don't I didn't feel I needed to make it for this mission. Even though you have four steam cores to work with. I don't know, I didn't bother with it. <laughs> it, it wasn't worthwhile to me, because you have to keep those pretty heated, so like, yeah, forget it. The the advantage of the uh, the hunter's houses, you don't have to heat them at all. Uh you got the you got steelworks, wall drill, so good he went for that. Sawmill, we actually have a sawmill pre on that. Yeah, have the charcoal killin as well, if you want to do something with it. Uh I feel on this mission, uh, it's actually okay to use it if you want to. 
uh, it might be a good way to, to supplement, because you actually get a lot of wood and you don't need a lot of wood uh, for this mission, so I always found I had an excess of wood. So, by all means, you can do something with that if you'd like to. Uh, I still kind of got away with not doing it. Uh, you have coal mining and coal thumper as well, so... So you get, like, level one of every building, that's what he decided to do, I guess. Uh, you get beacon, outpost, depot. And last one, you get heaters. Uh, you get range upgrade two and power upgrade two. I actually found I didn't really need to go past this, actually. So this is actually just enough uh, power upgrades and all that kind of stuff. So I found that to be pretty good. And he's at level three tech already. So it's kind of where he left off. And then he got uh, ejected from the, the city, I guess. <laughs> so we're starting at uh, negative 40 degrees with a uh, temperature rise in a bit and temperature lower. So with it being negative 40, uh, anything that's out, outside of a heat zone is uh, essentially low risk of becoming gravely ill. So you don't want to have anyone working outside of a, a heat zone that shouldn't be there, essentially. Um, so you want to be very cautious about that, uh, where you have people working. So anywhere with a steam hub is, is also pretty good. It's kind of hard to see where they are, but if you put the temperature overlay on, you can kind of see where the steam hubs are. They're not exactly laid out correctly. So there's like two here. One there, none over here. These are by the tents and the, the medical posts. So we're gonna actually turn on the, the whatever the heating for those ones, uh, cause we're gonna actually put people into them immediately. I'm not sure what that one is. I think that's a, uh, uh, yeah, that's another one here. So yeah, the medical infirmaries, we need to get them going ASAP. So we need to put people into it right now and get them going. So like like I said, there's a, a fair bit of setup associated with this uh, intro part. There's a sawmill right here. Uh, to begin us off. Uh, so remember you can put children to it. Make sure you're not putting children into anything other than gathering posts uh, Cook houses or uh, they can by the way they can totally do ruins is, is something that they're totally allowed to do uh, And they won't get hurt if you put them into things like coal mining They're going to they're going to get hurt. So you don't want them to get hurt. So we're gonna put workers on there I'll, I'll basically give it the heater This uh, steam hub. I will just dis dismantle. We're not gonna have one there We have to kind of decide where we want to put people and where we want to have our heat zones kind of thing is one of the things we're going to do. And before we get too carried away with trying to restructure this base, I'm also going to go to the map for a minute and I'll show you what we currently can see. So we have a coal mine right up here is, uh, is kind of the first thing we kind of get. And that's it. That's all we have. So we have a coal mine. There's going to be, I think, t up to two other outposts, one with food and one with uh, steel. Uh, the steel is the one we want. Uh, for reasons. <laughs> so we'll just go with that. Uh, and to kind of go around, and this is kind of the weird part of it. So you get you get another steel uh, post right here, which is covered up by this uh, lovely building over there. And not much you can do about that. Uh, three Up to three coal mines if you want to. Uh, we're not going to be going too hard into coal mines. Uh, we're going to do more coal thumpers, because coal thumpers I feel are much better. Because uh, steam cores are not exactly plentiful in this mission. I never made automatons in this and I don't feel that you need automatons in this. I don't feel that they're a good option here. I think just good old people and uh, overtime and stuff is actually probably better. I didn't do overtime on the first time I did this. Uh, I was trying to do like my deathless thing I've been doing before but then I kind of like, I got to the end of that. I barely just didn't get the best scenario out of it. I'm like, like I'm like, what's the point? <laughs> so, so I'm just like, uh, like no, not everybody's making it out of here. Let me just say that right now. So I gave up real easily. Let me, <laughs> let me say that. Uh, but yeah, so we got our first out. We got one outpost depot here, and there's another one right there. But this one's a bit of a special one because you actually only technically get one outpost, I believe, because you can't actually place the other one there. There's actually a special reason this one is here, and you'll find out later what this is for. Uh, but just for the all intents and purposes, you only have one outpost depot for this entire mission. So you have to pick between either coal, food, or steel. And steel is actually incredibly important. Uh, you get your wall drill over here, and that would be it. So, so yeah, our priority is, uh, yeah, we need to free up the steel is uh, one of the things. We need to also start getting these ruins going. But we're also going to start the generator on level two is what we're going to do. Range one, do not put it on. So the idea is at night, do not put it past range, uh, range one. Just keep it at range, sorry, yeah, just keep it at range one. And then during the day when they're working at all these buildings in the ring, then you can kind of do whatever you want with it. In terms of research, I'm gonna immediately put someone on to, did I not put medical post? Okay, I think I was looking at it, but I didn't quite do it. All right, so there's a hunter's hut over here. We're gonna disassemble that one because it's actually really close to the ring. The other really dumb thing that the guy did was he put a snow pit right here. Uh, apparently the bodies don't uh, yet count as being in there. 
Uh, I cannot demolish the last snow pit, though, so I have to make another snow pit somewhere else. So you kind of put it over there. He's kind of stupid. We have to put it outside the heat zone because otherwise disease spreads, blah, 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 and that's it. So that's what we have to do. Uh, we can go get these uh, buildings here uh, kind of going. Let's see. This one's good, too. So remember, kids always work in gathering posts, so you can just keep leave them in there. Uh, I'm going to put workers in here. going to make that one go basically be heated because I'm going to disassemble this the steam hub. This one, I think I could just keep, but I'm going to put it at 1800 hours. So that means I can kind of manually do the ones around this building, which is not a bad idea. Same thing with this one. I'll keep that one at 1800 hours uh, as well. I don't have to do that because this one's actually not that important, actually. Yeah, we might actually just leave that alone, actually. I don't know. We'll see. We'll, we'll look in a minute. We'll look in a minute. Don't worry. Don't worry too much about it. Uh, let's get some more people into different workplaces. So, again, there's a coal thumper here. I'm going to just put people in as well. So you get two cookhouses to start. I'm kind of on the fence about having people do food first day, but I guess I might as well. So I'll have kids do both. I know we're doing the really crappy meals, but what can you do, right? What can we do? We don't have anything else. So I think I basically, all the basic buildings I basically put people into. So I'll, I'll play for a second. Apparently these people are going home. Yeah, they're, they're apparently all going home. They're not going to do anything. These, these ones are going to do some stuff, but yeah, the, the six should basically start kind of going into places. All right, so that solves kind of the basic issue right now. Um, <laughs> so what we need to now start doing is we start disassembling some, some roads. So remember, you do have to keep roads connected to different places. Uh, so that is something that is a little bit annoying. So I'm going to kind of go through this. And this is like, yeah, this is... By the way, completely normal. You have to do this every time. <laughs> so, kind of, kind of annoying. Not gonna lie. And this is what I was totally prepared that I didn't want to do with it. So, uh, can I get? Yeah, that's good enough. And the reason we want to do this is because we want to get as much wood as humanly possible. Now, there's also some places where there's actually some space for a. Uh, gathering post. So one of the things that you can do is we're going to start placing gathering posts. So you see over here I can't actually place one there, but the road actually is the thing that's preventing me from being able to do it. So I can now. Actually, I could have deleted that entire road, I just realized. Hopefully it wasn't too inefficient. That's fine. It's perfectly efficient. I don't know. There's, there's a lot of like min-maxing I'm sure you can do with this scenario and things like that, but but it's kind of, yeah, it's kind of, it's entertaining. It's entertaining. Let's go with that. So I'm gonna just keep destroying things here. And another six wood here. I think. Oh, okay. So, two of the other things we're gonna need is we're gonna need a coal mine right there. And I think I just go like that. Yeah, that works. And we're also gonna need a wall drill right over here. There you go. So then, and then after that, we start working on. And remember, we're still paused this entire time. We're paused because, and and in uh, survivor mode, it's even worse because you're not going to be able to pause all that often. Apparently, according to this, we we have ten homeless. Why is that? Oh, because I disconnected that house over here. Whoops. Guess we can go hook that one up again. I made a boo boo. Oh, whatever. It doesn't matter. Not a big de deal. All right. So keep the keep disassembling houses here. So that one needs to be, I th believe, hooked up. I'm kind of on the fence about this one. Do I need to have this one or no? I don't think I do. I'm going to disassemble that because I'm pretty sure I can just put a... Yeah, I can put a gathering post like right over here somewhere. I'll just put it like in the middle there and then hook it up. So like you got to you gotta basically pick where, where you want to have um, gathering post kind of thing. But the idea is like... And it's it's at least nice enough to kind of show you where where you have things hooked up. But like it's going to be a, it's gonna be a major challenge to get everything hooked up accordingly. So... So, because it's like, look at this, it's like there's one over here, and I don't know, some other ones I can put around, so. Sorry about that, but my landlord messaged me, and uh, I need to reply to that. Anyways, okay, so back to here. Let's have a look around. So we do have some very interesting uh, feng shui designs that apparently were <laughs> going on here. <laughs> I don't know, like, it, whatever they were doing, but like I said, this is why this mission is just so irritating to do. 
it just like yeah it's a, it's a total mess and especially look at the width of these too so a lot of it's gonna be like yeah we're just gonna like destroy it and, and remake it i think in a lot of cases so uh we're just trying to figure out inefficient roads and like where to take them out of and things like that but we can take out that one too this ring i think kind of sucks so we'll just uh get rid of that one too and hopefully without accidentally removing a connection somewhere, which is what I've already done, so... I've, uh, done that more than one time. It would appear. Yeah, this one's like... There you go. We got, like, eight there. <laughs> so, yeah, this is... So you can kind of, like, I'm sure you can forgive me for my casualness of not actually finishing this on, uh... <laughs> on, on Survivor. Because every time I, I kind of want to restart it, uh, like, I'm like, oh, I made a minor mistake. I have to go redo this crap. So, you know. It, uh, it's pain. I'm, and I hopefully you can feel my pain right now. So. Uh, let's see. Okay, so I'm gonna just try putting down a couple more, uh, gathering posts. So remember, we're trying to make them all green as well. So, what I can also do is I can remove this tent here. I, I'll just throw in, um... Throw in another one, like, up here somewhere. I probably should get, like, another, uh another medical post up there as well. Where are we at? Whoops. Medical posts. I don't know, dude. Maybe I should, you know, I, I might just, I think I have not no, no, I, I definitely don't have enough uh, for, for my people right now. Give me, give me a minute. Health, I'll throw down another one right there. Whoops, not two. Sorry, that was one too many. Don't worry, there's, uh, if I mistakenly play something, I don't lose anything, so don't worry too much about it. So we're going to do that. I'm also going to throw in a... I forget where I want to have that go. Actually, sorry, I'm just... I'm also planning ahead for the steam hubs I will eventually make. So, yeah, I want to put, like, one more tile up there. I think, like, down there. I think I'll put it right there. Sorry, I'm thinking about the steam hub I'm going to eventually put there, so... That's the plan. Alright, so, gathering post. We can throw another one right down here. We do not have enough resources for another one. Let's see. I could just destroy that. Uh, let's see. We can just get rid of this line right there. I'm going to keep that the way it is. That generator, by the way, is going to be creepy the entire time. Just letting you know that. The entire time. It's going to be baking weird noises and screaming noises and things like that. So, All right. I can put another one right there. I don't have that much more uh, wood that I have at my disposal. So I'll have to be a little bit cautious. Oops, I did not mean to destroy that, but you know what? This house is useless anyway, so we can just destroy it. That one's fine. That one's going to be outside of a heat zone regardless. Uh, which means we're going to have to remake that home at some point. But that's okay. We That that person could be just homeless for one night. They'll, they'll live. Maybe. Yeah, because I was thinking of making one over here. I actually really need to make them over here, though. This one's a bit of a funny one, how this one works, so... Let me just show you how that one is. Um, so there's actually space for three of them in that location, but it doesn't really give you a whole lot of uh, leeway to make it there, so I will do it there. Okay, hopefully this doesn't break anything. Okay, it doesn't. I think I'm getting to the point where I'm going to resume it, actually, in a moment here. So what you want to do is you actually want to make it so there's actually three that could fit in the up row here, and the only way you can do that is I think you need to just have, like, one more right there. What you should do is, to test it, if you don't have enough resources, I think, I guess I don't have enough here. I have a feeling I'm going to have to be destroying this in a bit. Remember, I can, I can destroy this as much as I want. It's, it'll be fine with it. I think I have to go, like, give it a little bit. It's always a rough one, isn't it? Because I'm pretty sure I can make two, uh, three in that row. I think I've done that before. Yeah, yeah look, look at this. I, I definitely can. So we're going to give it one over there, and I'm going to destroy that road so I get my 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 stuff back. So, Because right now, if I were to put like another building there, it would be like, oh, I'm going to fill in all this. But as soon as this thing goes away, uh, then I'll, I'll basically be able to have all of it. Can I can I get basically get enough for one more? Let's see. Okay, let me post 50. Okay, so if I get five more wood, I can put one more down. I'm trying to get as much of these done before we go to the next one. So the only things we don't have to have connected are roads that are going to places that don't matter, like here. 
So these don't need to be connected by road, so we can just do whatever we want with them. Uh, this is a good one to do. Let's do that one. I like the idea of this. Okay. What's the chance of me uh, getting the road hooked up? Not very high, unless I destroy some road somewhere else. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I don't care about that one. Just need a little bit more road gun. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we'll just do that one. If we have, if we have, we need more, we need more than after that, so. Okay. So there you go. Okay, so final checks. Generator is going on. He, uh, range level one, steam level two. This is intentional. Uh, we're gonna basically overdrive the last heat level, is what we're gonna do with it. Uh, we're, we're making a couple of uh, posts, but we're going to basically put them on heat as well. Is what we're gonna do. Uh, we have a steam hub right here. We, can, we we'll keep these two on. These are fine. There's nothing wrong with those ones being on. Uh, we we're gonna eventually put another ste uh, steam zone here. But you notice I don't have enough steel, so that's why I decided not to put it on. But one of our heat zones is gonna be this one right here, where these medical tents are. But for now, we're basically putting them on heaters. And uh, <laughs> last one is uh, right here. We're gonna have a heat zone right there with them too. Um, then everything else will start getting shuffled around, uh, starting with the tents that are outside the cold zones, uh, but that can wait about a day. Hopefully we can get that done the next day, but the thing is, uh, there's actually not a lot, uh, there's not enough space around for a lot of this either, so, uh, but we're gonna, the next time is when we're gonna start shuffling that around, so, uh, with that, you can give it a nice hard save, uh, because if you're under the luxury of playing on non-survivor, you can do that, and so if you decide later on that, oh, I should have done something different, or whatever, you can definitely do that, and that's that's fine. Um, if you're playing on Survivor, well, you can't. And uh, and like I said, you're watching the wrong video if you're trying to beat this on Survivor looking for some advice because I haven't even done it. So I'll be done with that. So we'll we'll play it. So we'll see that they're all going to be moving slowly out. What we're doing is we're going to wait for the heat to go up. So like I said, we're trying to reduce the amount of of sick that we have on the first day. We can't overdrive until we get to steam level one. So we are going to overdrive this because heat is very valuable. There we go. So everything now in a heat zone should be effectively at chilly now as the generator is warming up. It's going to be telling us about our steam cores. Uh, we already know all about them. Oh, and with that being said, we can actually start assigning people away. So let me go. So next thing's next is. So here's what we're going to do. Um, so right now we have wooden ruins. We're going to intentionally be working on the outer ring. So remember, we have ring level three. We're gonna turn it to three when it when it becomes work time, right? So I haven't actually done this yet. So assign the children first. Children go in very much first. Uh, the snow pit's gonna be a bit annoying, but I can't remove it yet. It's gonna be a bit of a problem. But outer ring first until they're all doing whatever, uh, and that's fine. So by the way, with that temperature raise, this means that on this day, on day four, you can put people outside because they'll put them to just chilly or, or well, now well, it'll be just cold. So it's acceptable if you really want to get something like cleared out ASAP, you can put someone in there kind of a thing. You're, you're totally allowed to, but notice that you can't actually put heaters in the, ru the w ruins either. So really it's just gathering posts that you're basically using to effectively clear out things. Which is, you know, a little bit annoying, but like, gathering posts are slower, but they basically can clear more, and they also are count as a heat zone. They are like, I think about 40% faster when you put them onto the building itself. But, you know, it's it's one of those things. <laughs> can't de You can't overly depend upon it, so. So, here we go. Get all the people shuffled in. We're gonna have a lot of wood after the first day. Let me just say that right now. So, let's see. Okay, so I got, I think, most of these going. And remember, we okay. So I disassembled that one, but there is actually a heat zone right here. So we can assume that these are going to basically be during the day. They're going to have a bunch of people that are going to be able to work in these, and that's going to be a lot of steel too. So we're going to pay extra attention for when that heat zone does become a issue. Also, really want to do this one too. I have a lot of engineers. Why do I have a lot of engineers? Uh, I guess because I haven't actually disassembled this hunter site yet. So we can do these two as well. Oh no, we can't actually do these. Never mind. That's for the next day. Sorry, right, these ones I I just remembered. I'm, they are, they are not in a heat zone yet. They will be at some point, but not not today. Because uh, we still have a fair bit of people we can shuffle around. So we still need five people for that workplace there, and we're also going to need ten workers for the well, actually twenty workers, ten for the two buildings I'm just creating, and also a bunch more people are going to basically be di diverted from these cold buildings. 
And we're going to divert them from the interior buildings if I have them, like this one. I can take them off of that. Preferably kids, but, you know, I guess it doesn't really matter, does it? So they're right now going to go build all the things I've been telling them to do. This would be a, a case of where I would actually add one additional gathering post when I get the opportunity to. And that's it. I probably should also give it a good old save Roo again. All right, because we're 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 about we're about the first day. So they're just they're just building stuff right now. Here's another uh, gathering post. I'm gonna put the kids in there. All right. So now we put it to temperature level three. So it's gonna bring the temperature up. Uh, we're still going to keep it on overdrive, but it's going to basically extend the heat zone so that now that they're all in there, we're all good now. There we are. Uh, this one here can take off the workers because uh, there's actually, it's not in, in zone. So we're just paying attention to if the, anywhere it has like extreme coldness right now. And the other things we're going to do is, so now the snow pit is complaining about the fact that it actually has a temperature too high problem. Something that we've never seen before, but yeah, that is a thing that we'll see. So this gathering post is in heat zone. We don't have to care about that. Uh, let's see. Is there anywhere else that really needs a... Uh... So this one doesn't need it because it's in a temperature zone as well. This one needs to have workers on it. G again, give it heat. And that one's fine. We can give that a heat zone as well. So for the first day, these medical posts all get, uh, all get their own heater, essentially, with a, uh, the snow pits, I'm sure, almost done. That's why I said there's a lot to, like, unravel here of what's going on. <laughs> so, alright, so this is going to complain. Danger of disease. A heat zone has reached a snow pit and the bodies have begun to rot. Dangerous diseases have begun to spread in our city. We should either uh, move the snow pit or scale back the heat zone. So I'm not going to scale back the heat zone, but I finished the other snow pit, so we can just disassemble this one. So the whole point is you're supposed to freeze them. Although, it wasn't even frozen. It's, like, it's livable. Actually, no, it's completely, uh... That's like negative 10, they're still technically frozen. All right. And they, oh, I didn't put another one up there. That's fine though. So we have a coal shipment that's in right now, if we want to have it. We want to delay that as much as possible though, if we can. I think, I think, I think if you're playing on another difficulty, you would have much less options with that. So I think we could put one over here. Because I, I have some uh, gathering posts again. Remember, we're trying to just make everything into green. What I'll do is I'll probably this one here. I'll disassemble. Uh, let's see. Tech, steam hub. So remember that steam hub I was talking about earlier? Uh, I kind of actually, I think, want to put it up, don't I? Actually, there's a there's a fair bit of... Uh, there's a fair bit of them I can put down here, actually. I just realized. Maybe I'll put it down here instead. So if you put it down a tile, that means I won't be able to heat up these two, these three over there, but I'm going to have to just move them. Because I'd actually rather keep those bunkhouses around, actually, to be honest. The tent. Um, this sawmill is unfortunately the way. We're going to keep the sawmill for now, because I don't see a real problem with that. These hunter huts as well, I think I'm going to have to get rid of. Yeah, we'll just we'll just disassemble these ones, because uh, we'll give it... We'll give it more Hunter's Huts, kind of more towards the top, but we'll do that project a little later. I was thinking of just keeping it on for the first night, but I'm like, yeah, there's no point. All right, another steam hub over here. Remember what I was talking about earlier? We're just trying to keep the heat zones going. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, that one's not bad. Uh, it doesn't mean that this zone I can't heat, but that's okay. Uh, and we're, this one is the important one to come on, the one near the, near the medical post, but the one that's over here is not as important. There's not that many people living there. And I'm also going to throw down another workshop. Fortunately, uh, you don't get a lot of options for where you place it. <laughs> so you're kind of uh, a little bit on the bone side. I kind of want to throw uh, something down here to hopefully make it a little bit more efficient, but I really can't. But I, I, I like to kind of try to put... Oh, God. Disaster. Okay, whatever. I don't care. <laughs> I like to put three down, but I'm like... Uh, I guess I'll replace this guy then. I guess that's what I'll do. Because three is a good number. I have a lot of, like, free workshop guys. And, and maybe, like, three or four. Maybe we'll try it. Maybe we'll try and go for the magical four number. Again, it doesn't really matter where they are, but you just have to... Like, you're going to be replacing them anyways. I'm not even going to beat around the bush here, so, you know what, I don't need the thing over here either. Actually, let's just destroy that. 
They're, like we're gonna be we're gonna be tearing these apart anyway, so yeah. Alright, so there's your heat zone. So now we shouldn't need these anymore. There you go. We can turn these ones off now. So perfectly heated. One second. I think there's another one there somewhere. There he is. So there's some outside the zone. That's kind of, I guess, what we have to deal with uh, while we're here. Uh, not much you can do. But yeah, there's a little bit of annoyance regarding this stuff. So, okay, there we go. That's perfect. There we go. That's what I want to do. Because I have uh, 29 engineers free at the, at the moment. I could just have them go work at some buildings or something. But yeah, so we got another one here, gathering post, and I'll put the coal mine together. And the last one is this uh, lovely wall drill. Unfortunately, I don't think we're getting a lot done today. Let me let me just uh, disassemble these for a second, because I, I don't think I'm going to get anything done with that regardless. So it's saying that the wood is right now full. So with that being said, we can now... One second, let's go throw throw some more of these down. Because we put, we put people into them, right? And I'm going to throw down hunter's huts, because those require a lot of wood. Because again... Everything is basically consume, uh, uh, being deconstructed for wood value, so throwing the, throwing it down, <laughs> throwing down some things for wood, it consumes them wood immediately, you know. So <laughs> it, it's a good idea to do this. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just gonna go throw that together, and that unfortunately didn't work out. So there isn't a lot of space outside the heat zones. One of the only places I can see that that's outside of it is actually right here. So that's why we're gonna go throw down on some of these why do you do this to me sorry i'm just like i'm trying to connect the road there we go so that that used up a little bit more wood now notice up that there's three hours hour uh, three hours left on the generator we have that that 800 uh basically coal waiting for us so that's what we're gonna have so don't don't worry too much about that when you see it do less harm. Sir, a doctor wants to talk to you about improving radical treatment. I was a field, a field surgeon in the Brewer War and worked with the Royal Society to reduce the rate of limb loss in the army hospitals. I believe I can devise a method that will cut the number of amputations during radical treatment. So, um, you absolutely want to <laughs> let him do it. Not only is it a benefit to you, but it also raises hope which you desperately need. Uh, so, absolutely do that. 100%. <laughs> don't, don't even, don't even, don't, don't even, don't even, like, flirt with that. So don't even, don't even, don't do it. Okay, you, you get it, you get it. Do it, do it, do it. Okay, so again, we're gonna go put this down. I can I can turn off that steam hub just to save on a bit of coal. And we're gonna throw down another workshop or two. Let me just see where. This is a good place right here. We're just gonna finish off our uh, workshops and then that will be it. So there's one that I can throw down here. I'm looking at this. Uh, this is kind of annoying. I hate this one so much because it's like there's two over here and I actually want to make sure I'm getting both. So, you know, what? I'm going to just I'm going to just feed these over here. I'm fine. Okay, okay. It's not fine. This is some serious copium, but OK, so there's probably another one I can just throw right there. So let's try that out. Unfortunately, I just disconnected a lot of roads. That was not my finest moment. Probably should have waited until the end of that. Oh well. So these these last ones can probably just be uh, whatever. Okay, I forgot I disconnected this. This is why. But we have a lot of wood now, like so. That's why I'm like it's fine. Okay, this is this is not fine. I shouldn't have done this. <laughs> whatever. Okay, this is a bit this is a bit of a mistake. It's almost worth rewinding for that. <laughs> this is what I mean. You make you make one little mistake like that, and it's like yeah, your entire game is kind of screwed. So we didn't get medical upgrade the first day, but that's fine. Cold homes, we will not address that because there's a lot of cold homes, let's be honest. Uh, so that was kind of game ruining. Why are they not building the roads that I wanted? Fucking libertarians. All right, we'll throw some people into here. Also heat that up. Throw some people into here, heat that up. So there's a lot of a uh, lot of little little hunters huts that are now available. I actually wouldn't mind having a couple more rounds. So wherever workers are at, we'll uh, start taking them off. Yeah, th these buildings are almost done. So so 
to we can kind of just have a look around. I hope that doesn't screw me what I just did, because that 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 was about five hours of of that entire wing not working. <laughs> so, so I'm not too I'm not too proud of that. I I should have double checked that, but yeah, that's what we say frequently. So, oh wait, I didn't even. You know what? I didn't even turn off the range genera generation. I'm gonna actually just go back to where I was before I did that, actually. Okay, I think I basically got it back to the way it was. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, before I made uh, that dire, dire mistake. Uh, so I think I got all the... Well, I can actually have one more Hunter's Hut right here. That's fine, I can do that. Works for me. And, uh, cause I don't think I had that many before, but it, it's a good use of wood. Uh, we had the wall drill going up. Um, if I kind of, uh, throw on this, let's have a look around. That needs to be on. That's already in a zone. What is that one? Uh, it's, I think it's not built yet. Yeah, things that aren't built yet won't show up, uh, at all right now, so that's it. Yeah, there they are. So I have one here and it just wasn't heated up, so. All right, do less harm. Yep, give him what he needs. So we're back at that point. So maybe I should give it a nice old save just before I do uh, winter. F <laughs> uh, let's do another save, actually. Winter one. So yeah, save at least for the first like three days. Save like hell, like honestly. <laughs> it's like, it's uh, it's really annoying to go back. You, you make one minor mistake and you're just like, well, that ruined my, that potentially ruined my run. Because remember, snowballing. Snowballing is the key this game so it's uh pretty pretty wild what will happen if you don't do things quite correctly so but we're good oh i also never oh no i did place this guy there he is i was gonna say i, I don't think i placed him correctly but i actually did so so we have enough coal if you actually look at our consumption right now it's just barely not enough right now but that means when i turn it down to range one it definitely will be enough so we're just waiting for it to all go unfortunately this jerk didn't finish so what are you gonna do but uh, we have 14 sick right now, that's fine. We could have, actually, I just realized we could bring, um, we could bring some sick out. Give me a second, unemployed. I just realized we could do that. Give me, give me a hot minute. You know my, you know my classic lat trick that I have? It's, it's a good trick. It just occurred to me I could have been doing that. Just need to put someone somewhere else. Yeah, we'll do this. Okay, so we'll do, we'll do two in here. So, let's see, Grave the Sick. Who's this guy? This is a engineer. Yeah, okay, useless engineer. So, you can kind of do this with a lot of people. This would be a worker. We can dismiss them. And treatment. Remember my dear old strategy here. Where are they at? All right, so we have our beacon right there, and we can send them out. So first place first, I would actually go almost to Snowcliff. I would go like in a little bit of a reverse C here. There's actually really not a rush to do anything in particular, I would say. So you don't have to do pretty much any of it, anything. What I'm saying, actually, um, I, I didn't find. There's no rush to to find things except for one thing, which will go. Well, which is the which is the uh, the steel mine. All right, so it's it's off, so we now put it back to range one. We we'll get a, We now have a we have a surplus of coal, not not a not a deficit. We now have a surplus. So with that being said, like all these steam thumpers and stuff that we have will actually just work now, and they're perfectly fine. All right, so with that being said, let's just double check to see if our um, so I'll show you what my gathering posts currently look like. So these three don't matter T technically. The, neither the, the, these, but I'm gonna th still throw one down there. I would like to get this last one going, but that's okay. We can just wait on that one. What I'll probably do is I, I think I had this last time, but I didn't actually finish it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a road all the way over. So this will also be a good opportunity to throw down some resource depots. Uh, one for coal, one for wood, and potentially one for steel. It depends. We can you can actually throw a lot down. So we'll just we'll, we'll have a look at it. And then we need to start moving around some houses and make people unhomeless. Again, we will not address the homelessness right now. Uh, we can also get some more people doing food. Because food's going to be one of the next big problems that we have to deal with. Because right now, we started with a fair bit of rations, but our food consumption is going to be like that much. Yeah. So, it you don't have to do anything for the first day, I would say. But we will have to do something soon. Let me see here. 
I'm hoping that they're gonna finish that. Because I can start rearranging workers. Like, workers primarily are going to work on pretty much that, so. Just on the first day, it didn't make any sense, so. Are they gonna go rest? Nope, they're not. Excellent. This is what we like to see. What a bunch of champions. I would like to have more children coming out to do this kind of stuff. There we go. So this is also in a, in a nice little grid here, but that, that one's in a heat zone already, so that one's not a big issue. I should technically remove that one, but I'm not sure if I should. Actually, I probably can. I can start putting this heat zone together. There we go. So this is a good place to start moving them around. We are going to remove this coal thumper pretty soon. I kind of want to get to steam coal thumpers, but because there's not a dire rush to get people into here. You do have access to houses and bunk houses. I just start with tents just because wood is so plentiful and steel is not. Even though like uh, bunk houses are probably technically better and I don't, I don't think you'd be doing any wrong by going for them. It's just that every time you have to spend like 10 steel every time when I actually pretty much have a good amount of heat anyways when it comes to them regardless. So, because we still have the generator on, on overdrive, so that's why I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm okay with it. It's, your problem mostly is the fact that there's a bunch of tents outside the heat zone that, that are the actual issue. All right, let's let these go get warmed up. There we go. I'm going to turn off these, because I did this last time, but you guys, uh, this is this is, this is is last time. Unfortunately, those are still going up. So I don't think there's actually any more space for me to put a heat zone here now. No, yeah, no, there isn't. This this actually just gets all of this, so. Yeah, another one right there. Put everyone into there. There we are. Let's see. But yes, dealing with the sick is just a major concern in this scenario, so. So when yeah, when I take people out, I prefer not to take them out from the outer ring, because the outer ring is extremely important to me. Again, we will heat that up. Uh, we still have one more to go here, so let's see. Oh yeah, we can get a we can get our overcrowding now. Let's see. We uh, we need a gathering post right there. Let's see, and then this is like a lot of this is what the micromanagement is that we have to do right now. So, all right, so we're gonna put coal as one, wood as the other, and I think steel or food rations. Uh, I'll keep I'll do food rations for now. All right, going to here, we go to our next law, which is overcrowding. This is the most important one. This will deal with the rest of the people who are not sick. And that number is going to go severely up the next day. So, <laughs> just let you know. This is all in preparation for today, uh, or whatever. Well, actually, no, that's that's tomorrow, because it's right now, yeah. But I'm looking at the time, and I'm just like, yeah. Uh, let's see, can I get a little bit more workers out of somewhere? Yeah, I can get them out of here. I don't need them over there. So I'm just trying to fill it. I'm just, just trying to make sure all the uh, these uh, gathering posts are, are basically working. So, and that's it. And that should be good enough. So we're just we're gonna let it, the the stress go to max, even though the generator is kind of broken. Uh, we don't really care. It's okay. Oh really? Are you kidding me? There isn't enough space for two. All right, game's over. I'll just I'll just do it over here. It, it's the most inefficient thing I've ever seen, actually. Oh well. Let's see. Is there another one? I don't want to do the inner the, the inner rows of that one though. Of the uh, the of the of the one on the one that I don't have any coverage on, so I might just have to wait or something for that. I don't have to wait. Okay, fine. I'll do an inner row. The next day it should start to get really like yeah. I'll put engineers on that. It's fine. We'll be okay. Yeah, the, the key is to get a lot of uh, engineers kind of going too, so. To start snowballing that research. And look, look at our sick right now. Like, we, we're actually right now, like, just barely doing it. Like, they can wait until the next day because we're going to have that, that speed upgrade. But, like, and here's a problem I, I kind of had. I did organ transplants, but then I lost due to hope. So I'm like, it's... Even though I kind of want the sick to heal faster, I'm like, man, I can't justify that, really, can I? I don't know. It seems really good, though. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, because I, I really like extended shifts and stuff, though. So, 
Uh, you know me, man. You know me. Yeah, okay, fine. We'll turn up overdrive. So the heat zones now went down to about three. So I did the best I could. But like, like I said, there's still a lot of tents outside the heat zones, and that's like our next priority. So we have 50 vacant beds, so we're going to take out like eff effectively five tents that are outside a heat zone. Because these are the people who got sick. I mean, it's just randomly that they will get sick. It's a lot of people in the city that, that will get sick, but, you know, that was like the primary reason. I think I could probably afford to actually heater these buildings too, it just occurred to me. Because you get low risk to, like, no risk, I guess. Uh, Alright, so let's put on the heat thing again. Just have a look around. So, yeah, these don't need anything. These do. Yeah, I think I think we're good otherwise. Okay, so we're in a good spot. So, again, we'll, uh, at the beginning of today... So we could we could turn on the generator a little bit more, but we do have a lot more... Sorry, we could we could put, throw it up to Steam Level 3, but to be fair, like, we're actually doing pretty well for... for like temperature zones, so we're actually a okay. Really? How is this? Is that not in a heat zone? Okay, you know, I think I know why it's not in a heat zone. Watch this little pro gamer move. Oh, what? Now you're in a heat zone? <laughs> I'm telling you, it's killer, man. It's killer how this works. So we want to move the thumper at some point, and probably some of these tents that are like really inefficiently placed. It's also going to be a bit of a priority as well. Is there actually a heat zone up here? There is. Oh, I don't have enough uh, wood for that. Alright, we got Snow Cliff, which has steam cores, Frozen Pond, Flash Rubber Wings. There's several uh, huge crates buried here, exactly like the ones used to protect steam cores during transport. We'll dig them out. We don't really want the steam cores, but we do want freshwater springs at the moment, so... Like I said, there isn't anything particularly important about it. I know turn off overdrive. I already did that. Yeah, I did. Just double checking. This is like going to be the most amount of overdrive we use actually for the beginning here. I wonder. You know what? One second. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up, my friends. Can I like throw one over here? Ooh, I can. Yeah, but I can't. I can't get another one to fit there. So. I mean, there actually may have been enough space. Hold up. There actually may have been enough space. I'm just, I'm, I'm just curious about this to myself. <laughs> I'm like, can I fit another one in here? Uh, no, it's only affected by the, yeah, forget that, okay. We, we tried, we tried, we tried our best. I always think to myself there is a way to do it, but there sometimes isn't. Okay, one, two, okay, that's enough for that one. So there's a couple more that are coming in. Um, still on free time. We don't have to turn on the, the range yet of the generator. Let's have a look. So, yeah, there's your coal pile. There's a pretty substantial coal pile, actually, but they're all doing it. Like, all these buildings are, are can affect it, so. There's, like, I have three that can impact it, so. Uh, all right, let's have a look. So, pre first amputation. To save this patient's life, we have to perform an amputation as a result of perfect removal, but won't be able to work. So we can either do care house or process saw or just say I see. So, um, so just to let you know, um, the amputees aren't making it out of uh, out of uh, winter home alive. I'm just letting you know that right now. <laughs> I'm not even gonna beat around the bush. They're not gonna make it out. So now we have a lot of the frozen places depleting. Let's go put the steam zone up. I almost forgot about that. So we need to get these ones going. Let's see. And we can also do these ones here. Check, that's not, that one's not important. Let's do this one instead, because it's in a heat zone. Currently, so. So I'm not sure why this one's complaining. So our food-wise is still not doing terribly great. We're at, like, um, pretty much not excellent consumption at the moment, so... But that that's life. Sometimes we, uh, we have, we're gonna have to deal with that when we get there. Alright, medical post finished. Alright, so we got a bit more efficiency out of our existing medical posts. The next thing I always want to do is... Uh, I did put down a lot of gathering posts. Father, faster gathering isn't actually a bad idea this early on. Because I kind of want to clear that stuff ASAP. 
Uh, if you kind of want to skip on that, you can also do like uh, Steam Thumpers, because that's I think what I'm going to be going for a third is my goal. So uh, some clear, some ruins cleared. People have noticed the, the ongoing effort to clear the city of ruins. They appreciate it. A lot seems to be remains to be done. Of course, Winter Home already seems to be breathing a little easier. I uh, hope we'll rise slightly. Glad to hear it. Okay. So we're still doing some fun stuff with the housing. A voice in ruins. Sir, people have heard a child's voice coming from a wreckage. A child has survived the terrible night of destruction when half of Winterhome was burned. Uh, so many lives were uh, lost in the blaze and fighting. We can't let this child die, too. We have to help the child. So they are, they should be, at least, currently in a, in a grid right there. So that's what I mean. We're going to actually get some people out of the ruins. We're going to get new people, so... Which is kind of nice. We will see how that goes down. So that guy was amputated. That's why it was missing a person. There we go. We can throw people into there. All right. What's my house availability look like right now? Uh, so we have 60 vacant beds. So we can take out six more houses. Or six more tents, that is. Sorry. Uh, there we go. These ones can go... Although that child may come out and be somewhere else, I don't know. Well, we'll have to see. Because if we bring someone out of a wreckage, they're going to not have a home. But yeah, that's their fault. Alright, we can put another house there. I do want to destroy that house too, though. Because that, one, that one's terrible looking. <laughs> yeah, there's also like two houses here that are not in heat zones either, so we're going to have to also do something about them. I think we're also just took out a couple more of these, so we can do a couple more. What's that? What's this guy doing? Dismantling. You shouldn't be. Di oh, children can dismantle. Apparently, who would have thought? Again, we're trying to get that outer ring done before by tonight, because that means the next day I don't have to do an outer ring uh, um, of three. So then we can start like yeah, we can start being fine. <laughs> well, we, we can basically not power the generator quite as much, so that's why I'm kind of uh, looking towards doing that. Engineers, sure, why not? That's why that the middle ring will always be powered, but the other one will not. Or sorry, well, the, the, the most inner ring, sorry, that's what I meant to say. So we, get, we can see that with all that wood I did add, it, it did help a lot there, so, okay. Uh, that's not quite done dismantling. I'm going to also move that cookhouse around. I'm not sure where, though. I kind of want to put it in the middle ring. Uh, I'd have to move these two bunkhouses or something. I'll, I'll have to see when I get there. We can see our coal's doing pretty good, too, so we're actually okay. Because this this is not a place for a cookhouse. Let's let's just be fair. But I'm going to just, just destroy, like, a lot of this. All right, let's have a look. What's your problem? For your invitation, sir, the doctor who's trying to improve radic uh, radical treatment is here. He's reporting a breakthrough. It's certainly an unorthodox method, and my learned colleagues would be appalled at the experiments I had to perform, but it works. I, I expect the number of amputations during radical treatment to be halved. He seems eager to get back to his everyday work and try his new method. Well done. So that's that's the kind of the nice part. Uh, that's only if we have, like like, very, very sick people, which it shouldn't really be the case. It shouldn't be that often that we're going to have that, but... It will happen, I'm sure, from time to time. What are they dismantling at? So, the tents are still going away. This is why I dismantled the heat zone that was there, because it did, didn't make any sense. I'm not going to keep it. And this wood right here, I'm only keeping just because it was already placed. You might as well keep it. You get you, you just get the, the wood out of it, and that's it. So, we're kind of getting to the point where we actually have uh, not... We have too much wood now. So, <laughs> I'm not sure where to sink the wood into right now because we I, I could probably make some more uh where are they at this is why i said like this mission has a lot of stuff this is why a charcoal killing is actually not the worst thing that you can make if you're really starving on that on that coal it's already researched it's already here right i could just throw it down somewhere you know i i didn't quite think about it but yeah but then again like <laughs> i i really like the, like these guys too so I actually might throw that down. You know what? It's a bit experimental. I'm not, I'm not going to kid you guys, but, you know, I like experimentation. So let's let's give it a shot. So I'm going to throw down two over here and a kill end down there. Because I need to do something with this. Because how much how much charcoal does it make? Like sunny wood, yeah. So we shouldn't even need to heat this either. Like, it should be just like, whatever. It'll be okay. I'm just thinking about where to throw it down. Uh... 
This might be a good place. I just, I, I don't like how it looks like this. It's not going to be kept forever, I think. I don't know. I might, I might be, uh, like, how much does it cost to make, actually? Oh, God, that's a lot of steel, actually. <laughs> I, I could, I could afford it, though. We can afford it. Let's just, uh, I'll just, I'll just throw it down. It's fine. We'll just put it down there. Because, like I said, it's a, it's a heat zone in itself, so we should be okay. The wood, so a bunch more wind, wind, uh, Things were depleted, so that one's going to... Let's see. Alright, let's throw some people into here. Get those inner ring ones now. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it on for the time being, because there's like three wood left in this one, but uh, to be fair, we could just get rid of that one too. Which was trying to debate if there's anything else to get rid of. I don't think there is. Yeah, there's, there's like three houses over here I need to also dip out. Oh, here we go. Th these ones got removed. These are going to be good. So these ones, I can go throw down a tent on this. Are you kidding me? That's not in a heat zone? Oh. Alright. We lost the game. Guess I should have put this a little bit higher up or something. I don't know. You know what? I'm going to try... Yeah, I, I, I refuse to believe that's not in a heat zone. I'm in denial right now. Okay, it's not in a heat zone. <laughs> Denial over. Now it's now it's coping mechanism. Oh my god, it's it, it's like one pixel outside of it. I'm not even kidding you guys. It's just one pixel out. All right, I'm gonna. I could probably get this to do something funky. Sorry, I'm just trying to put houses over here. I don't know why I have to justify my. Okay, yeah, you don't give up. <laughs> I just gave up. Like, uh, there's no way I can make that work. Oh wait, this one. Oh, that one's fine. Alright, faster gathering research. Okay, so the next one I do after that is Steam Thumper, uh, because we need to... The coal is okay right now, but we don't want to... We also don't want to keep that... That... This guy going here forever. Which one? The, the one going from the coal mine here? We're going to look to get rid of that. And stabilizing our coal would mean we also can go to level 3 consistently. Currently, I don't feel I can. So that's what we're going to be doing a lot of as well. Alright, so we got some more... Stuff going on here. Let's see. I'm going to just... I'm going to start moving people into children. Let's see. That guy's fine. I really wanted to put another gathering post right here, but I want it to be, like, not fat like that. I think I kind of do it, can't I? What? Oh, no. That, yeah, of course that doesn't count. Never mind. All right, I'm just trying to... I'm trying to fit another gathering post in there because I totally can. I know it works. It, it doesn't have to lie to me. There we go. Okay, that'll work. Works great. Awesome. I want to put two gathering posts up there. Yeah, that 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 Timmy will be saved from there at some point. I'm gonna put children to here, except they're going to go build. I don't, I don't understand. Children are not supposed to build. Oh right, they they do all jobs. I I, I guess that includes building. Yeah, that's right. That probably would include building. All right, back to free time. All right, throw down to generator level one. This is the last time we go to generator level three. So we can now heat that one up. We can heat this one up too. I would like to move the cookhouse to like over here, but there's a thing in the way here. So that's fine. Uh, this coal thumper could probably go away. So fun, fun fact: if you remove a coal thumper like this, the coal stays. <laughs> so I, I kind of decided I'm done with this coal thumper. I want to put more houses there. So I, I ran it for like two days, right? And now I can just do this kind of thing. So, dang it, we have 41 amputees. Well, that's not fun. <sighs> There's a reason why I don't want 41 because the uh, care house can only hold 20. So. Whatever, that's fine. All right, fresh water springs, raw food, unexpected bounty. Flashes of silver shimmer from the fish as they dart from the submerged boulders, nibbling algae from, from them. A reminder of the greener past of this place. We don't know what species there are, but a fresh fish would be a welcome addition to our menu. Sites discovered bur uh, burn hollow. We got some food. So what we're going to do from here is we're going to go to the Dreadnought. And we're going to just just hop over there and then come back to the base because... Our food is not exactly great. We're, we're doing okay right now, but we're gonna have to fix the rest of it at some point, so. All right, can I fit two tents in here? Of course not, why would anything nice happen? 
But we're going to leave this uh, gathering post there. I'm probably just going to go rearrange some of this right here. There we go. Connect that. Cause I, like I said, I want to move this uh, this stupid cookhouse away because it's uh, it's in the way. I might I might do it like right now. Even though like I I have to move it down here, but I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna move it right now. The yeah the road's not quite done yet. Okay, it's done now. All right, we can get this one deleted. Get deleted, son. Is this is this an important road? I mean, what is that? That's wooden ruins. Who cares? I'm like, because uh, I just noticed it, it was complaining about being disconnected. So we could also destroy this fighting arena as well. Neither of them are needed. This guy also doesn't need to be here. This tent can go away. Unfortunately, it does believe. Yeah. So this is not bad, but. I just do this. I'm just trying to... Okay, this is a much better one. Yeah, okay, there. that's much better. Here we go. Look at, look at that efficiency. Except for the middle here, but that's okay. I'm hoping that destroying the fighting arena makes it slightly better, but it probably won't. Again, the phrase goes, why would anything nice happen? Alright, so with that being said, we can destroy these... Last three houses that are outside the heat zone, because these are these idiots are also getting sick. All I have to do is choose not to live in a crappy place, but they uh, have decided otherwise. All right, so we have 40 people not not having any place to live. Okay, so that went away. Unfortunately, it looks like the housing, no matter what, is going to be difficult to me. Let's see if I can fit another one into there. It's the pre-made one, so nah. There's no way. <laughs> so that was that was some optimism on my behalf. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Yeah, that, that heat zone is just uh it looks like it can make it, but it really can't, so. So with that being said, we can actually move the fighting arena just outside of it. Because we still actually want fighting arenas. There's actually no reason not to have that. Uh looks like I'll probably put another one here when that frees up a little bit here as well. Because I don't mind putting them just outside the heat zones. It's, there's nothing wrong with that, so... Dealing with discontent is, as I said, easy. Because you get you get so many options. It's uh, it's pretty much everything else that's a problem. You know what? This is a good place for the... Because this is outside the heat zone anyways. This one I think I was just going to do when it kind of got more cleared out over here. Which should be soon enough. So I don't think we have any other tents that this tent is outside of a heat zone. Uh, yeah, we should be able to throw one over here somewhere. You would think. Maybe not. I'm trying. I'm trying to. I'm trying to do my my trick still, but yeah, no. I was just waiting for this one to free up here, so I think this person's just gonna be homeless or something. Or no, nope, never mind. They're not. They're okay. We have barely enough tents, I think, right now. Yeah, just make a bed zero. Well, actually, we're gonna make a couple more, but that's it. So now that the tents are gone, uh, we can now... Oh, wait, no, sorry, there's one more outside of a heat zone. There we go. We'll destroy that one, too. So that's the thing we're kind of paying attention to. It doesn't actually outright tell you when they're not in a heat zone, unfortunately. This one was not in a heat zone. I think I didn't make it in there. I thought it was. It doesn't outright tell you. You just kind of have to kind of see it. So we do have 48 sick. I kind of, I think, want to throw in another medical somewhere because we're not exactly keeping up with it I'm gonna say oh wow, that sucks yeah I kind of want to have it in a heat zone uh, I could maybe put in the middle no I can't you know I'll put it over here because this split this place will have to be removed anyway so we're putting a very temporary uh, medical post up so all right, here's the last one. Food ration of the Dreadnought. That's why I did this, like, reverse C thing. The last Dreadnought. As you climb over the edge of the snow-covered plateau, we feel like ants crawling over an alien landscape towards a, some gigantic beast. We stop at the... Uh, 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 we stop at last... 
A stone's throw away from the dreadnought to marble at its scale. One of the huge machines that brought us here towers above us, cold and silent. It would take an enormous amount of labor and resources to make it usable again. Yet, as a reminder of everything that we left behind in our journey north, we decide we decide to leave it intact. So I discovered rock formation. So we get like 29 food rations and we can head back. So we, we basically just got a little bit of food in a steam core. That's, that's all I really wanted. Just a little bit to kind of like help us along. Looks like our medical posts are kind of doing a little well. So we'll see how it goes. So I'll throw some more people into here. Just to make sure the sick are just rotating appropriately. So tomorrow's a very important day. Tomorrow is going to be a temperature rise, which means we can rush out a couple of buildings. Oh, I have the charcoal kiln too. So I can I can do that. So we can we can actually rush out buildings uh, tomorrow. If if we need to rush anything out, we will rush it out. So this one will finish this uh, little gathering area here. So we'll just we'll just remove the coal like this. This also counts as I think being in a heat zone, does it not? No, it doesn't. Okay. For some reason, it's insulated. Why does it count as insulated? Oh, it is in a heat zone. It just doesn't show up as such when I hover on it. Weird. Why? Why is that not the case? Yeah, no, I guess it, I guess that do, that in particular doesn't do that. So if you really want to, you can just put the kids on the coal to make them collect the coal. So this day we decided not to raise the the grid to three, and on that note, we can actually give it a gold save. I don't know. I guess I'll I'll just go. I guess I'll just save over here. At this point, if I'm not making it past this, I'm I'm gonna have other problems. And we're gonna start having now things where uh, the gathering posts are gonna be completed, which is which is nice. I'll throw some children into here, get that going. So we're actually trying we're, we're trying to clear these steel ruins because it's actually preventing me from doing the rest of the steel work, so it should be kind of nice to do. Those are kind of nice to get out of the way and done. So yeah, when a lot of things are just getting completely completed, so everything's kind of like getting out of the way now, which is really nice. Is there a, yeah, there's a gathering post here. Yeah, there, there you go. Oh, and here we go. Little survivor. Sir, we pulled a child out of the ruins. He's the sole survivor of his family. He's badly burned and will die without proper medical attention. And we can't provide it yet. One child gravely ill. Hope will rise slightly. I mean, you can't provide it. I have uh, 60, <laughs> 60 things here. All right, we, gotta, we have another law. Oh, wait. It says we have to wait less than an hour. I guess it's not quite done yet. All right. With the next last one, we can do... Probably food additives, because we do need our food right away. Our this is the time where we're starting to now run into food problems, and like with even with the amount of food I have here, I feel like you kind of need it. Like there's a couple of options that you have, but I have like half the amount I need, so that would you know effectively double it. And I, I just I like food additives. Uh, okay, this is a scenario where I and I deeply believe this. Like you're dealing with a lot of like you don't like discontent. First off. Even though Moonshine is like right there, you're you're trying to reduce discontent, uh, and you you deal with a lot of buildings to deal with the sick. You're gonna go up the faith path and and probably get the uh, building for House of Healing is what I'm going to do. I don't know. It's one of those things that I, I also like emergency shift and all that as well. I'm not even gonna lie, but this one I I feel like you know even though that would would be really good to go for too it's it's always tough like this is the toughest part about it right like sure i could do organ transplants like there's so many laws i want right now but here's the here's the matter we have seven days to restore the city right um i think we need food right now and i think we're going to do food additives because we're going to deal we're going to have a good infrastructure to deal with the sick it's going to be a consistent thing because we need to have that actually um there's going to be problems later on that that cause us to need to do things with, with uh, essentially with a sick. So I, I do feel like food additive is, is perfectly fine. Um, I, I don't think there's any issue with that. Uh, emergency shift will be good to do a little bit later, but yeah, food additives I feel is right now. I The thing I'm not sure is if to do extended shift first or to go down the hope tree, uh, but we do have to rush down the hope tree at some point soon-ish. It depends. It's like 18 hours to, to wait for that, damn. It's a long time. <laughs> I, I think I'm going to try to do the the route of extended shifts first, because that's like the most optimal as well. Well, OK, so first food, then shifts, and then I'll try and do the hope stuff. I hopefully won't lose. I will make the hardest save I've ever made in my entire life. But I, I it's kind of it's kind of hard to, to, to decide on this one. But yeah, food additives, I feel, are like necessity right now. 
So the cookhouse is going. Did the place that was wooden ruins... Oh, it's full right now. Hold up. We can get another wood here. Sorry, I just realized what, why it was not going anywhere. And we'll do steel as well. Okay, there we go. I'm hoping this will finish up at some point, but I don't know if it will. 27%. Going to go eat. Well, then don't eat. Just starve yourself. But it's 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 always a it's always a tough one. It's it gives you some really tough decisions here. And like I said, I haven't played this scenario enough to really know what an optimal path is to go. Actually, I really don't. And see, I, I still can't put hunter's house anywhere. Like if I want to have more, I, this is all the ones I can put down. So like food is a problem from many perspectives, uh, and this is one of them. So there's also one more tent over here. But I I, I think I have one homeless. Yeah, I have one homeless. Of course, I would have this problem. I don't think I have enough space for another person, do I? I may have enough if I put one over here. Of course that child had to live. Okay, there we go, we're good. Again, we're still making just tents, because tents are based. Most runes cleared. Most of the charred skeletons of houses that are, are marred to, uh, um, that marred winter home are gone. The countless toil put into the removal paid off, but we're no longer constantly reminded of the night terror and chaos. Hope rises slightly. Good stuff. Scouts returned. Okay, so the next place we're going to the scouts go is towards a weather station. So this is going to be a pretty interesting one. We, that, that's the route we're going to do intentionally. We, we just were trying to get the food just to kind of min-max on the food slightly. Oh, we have a fair bit of space over here too. I do have to make another cookhouse at some point. I feel like we can definitely squee squeeze this a little bit. This might be a little bit optimistic. Yeah, that was a little bit optimistic. <laughs> I, I I was thinking I could do that, but yeah. I'm trying to get it to be the cl the, the, the the thinnest it can possibly be. It's going to be a building that will be... I wish there was like a setting for that, you know? That would be really cool. Hello, Frostpunk 2. Please give me a setting for that. So I can just set it to, like, the minimum amount. But I kind of don't want you to do that, so... Let's just go with we're cheating. Uh, it's not it's not even cheating. Uh, actually, I'm not going to destroy that road. Alright, so we got our second cookhouse. We're going to throw that down. And there's a dude over here. Child injured at work. Child got distracted. And the accident was not serious. Uh, we'll just give him the death. Because we actually have a lot of kids. So li literally, it just replaced it with another kid that was free. Because I don't, I actually don't have everybody doing things right now, so. Yeah, we can, oh, you're right, right, I can't destroy that right now. Actually, can I? Hold up. Where's the, how far does the heat zone go? Yeah, okay. Yeah, so we're going to have to move, shuffle that around too. There's still like a sick place here. Why is there one gravely ill still? All right. So next thing's next. Um, I personally don't feel like having more scouts really is a huge benefit in this scenario currently. It's, it's, I, I just don't feel it's that great. So, uh, Flying Hunters is pretty good. Uh, that one's a nice one. Steam Hub range upgrade is also pretty good because it means that my existing Steam Hubs, I would get a bit more range out of them. And uh, so I don't just, ha I don't have to just place another one. It does make them take up a little bit more. They, they uh, consume twice as much though, uh, which I'm not sure if it's actually worth it. It's probably not, but you know, I, I, I like it for the coal mine location that I'm going to make, so I kind of like this one, but I mean the more optimal solution is probably good to go down Flying Hunters, if I had to tell you the truth. So maybe maybe we'll do that. We'll do Flying Hunters then. Let's do, let's do the optimal route. Oh, that's a lot of sick people. Why is there two gravely sick? Where the hell are they? Oh, they're amputees now, I guess, or something. Because they should be going away. There we go. We're making... I mean, okay, so there's more sick for the obvious reason I did pick the, the food option that will make them sick. So, but we can make infrastructure for that. So it's not like it's a huge problem. I'm just trying to debate if I actually need the infrastructure right now. I can make like one more medical post over here. I feel like I can get another another workshop maybe. 
Yeah, that's good. Let's make one more. Because I have like I have like a couple of engineers free. Okay, looks like this guy's done, right? Or is it like no gatherable resources? Okay, he's done. Yeah, let's see. Gathering post. So there's two buildings here that are not quite done with, but like like if I put one here, it's not gonna do that much. Quote unquote, but I don't know. Oh, this one finished. There we go. We can, we can put another one down there. That's what I want to have. I want to have three over here. That was the main thing I wanted to do. I don't know why, like, the, the, the two gravely sick that I see are not doing anything right now. Fucking lazy pieces of things. Storage air capacity. What's it complaining about? Trees. Okay. Uh, this is like the conundrum that we constantly run into in this scenario. I guess more resource depots won't hurt. We'll just do that, because that also frees up a bit of wood, too. Alright, now that people are going, we'll throw down steam coal thumper here. We'll get another gathering post right there. And it looks like the steel is now done, too. So we can go throw down steel works right there. There we go. Now, the reason I was going to make another one is because the steam hub, I need to re remake it somewhere here. And if you have the upgrade, you can actually hit every single building here because there's this coal mine, too, that I have. But to be fair, I'm not going to keep the coal mine forever, actually. So maybe I should just, like, plan it out as if I'm not going to have it because I'm really not going to have it. <laughs> so I'm just, like, thinking about this right now. Actually, I think I just need to put it in the middle. Steam thub right there. Nope, because it wouldn't hit that one then if I did that. Well, here comes the problems. So we need to have like one right up here. So this hits like every single one of these, sort of. Actually, I don't want to have this here then. I want to throw this down here. That's what I'll likely do is I'll just throw this over here and that should be fine. Okay. These, these steel ruins need to go as well. That's fine. There you go. We got our st steam coal, coal thumper. We don't actually need to heat these anymore. Because there's gonna, they're going to be heated by a steam hub now instead. So I guess I won't even go for that range upgrade. Because you know what? I'm going to try the charcoal killing. Just because I I wanted to give it a chance last time. And I didn't give it... A, I think I did give it a solid chance. But I, like I know how this mission goes. And I actually think it's actually decent to do the wood. Actually, in this case. <laughs> so I think I think the killing is actually a good, good option here. Alright, we're going to make it low though. We don't need a temperature here. Let's see. Just give it a good old check. So this one's far outside the range. This one we can turn off. It's no longer needed. What's this one? Yeah, so these buildings are okay. The kill and I might move closer to at some point. I'll see what I want to do for it. So this steam hub can just go away. We're just going to let this guy finish up whatever he was doing. That's it. There you go. So this one should be able to do everything... Is there, like, a little bit of, like, stuff in the way here? I'm just wondering about that gathering post. Oh, dude, there totally is. I'm not sure if I put this down, if it's going to hit that. But you know what? Actually, we don't even need to do that. Workshops. Because <laughs> there's actually enough space for the workshops to be diagonal here, I just realized. Is there, like, a gathering post I could throw down here? Yeah. Okay. Because that, that makes it in the steam hub, too, which is really nice, so... Just thinking of the, the, about the most optimal... I guess I didn't need to make this one here. It just occurred to me. Interesting. Okay. Actually, I want to have children work in this one. So we do have six days, 21 hours to deal with that. So, okay. Weather station. Um, survivors. Uh, so, first off, just, just to show you what's going to happen. Um, so, just take note of the temperatures. So, uh, for a good reason. It's actually a really cool one. I like this one. So we're having a temperature raise uh, here, uh, lowered in the next day. And then two days after that, we're having another drop of, in temperature. Hopefully by that point, we have our coal situation normalized. Like we won't have any more coal problems. So this is the hope that, that with this whole situation that we have going on here. So the reason being is that the engineers are responsible for preparing weather forecasts welcome us as we enter the building. So they're doing weather forecasts. So we can say, um, 
It's called the Weatherman. The weather station is manned by several engineers who use an array of instruments to monitor air temperature, wind force, and direction, and atmospheric pressure changes. On the basis of this data, they prefer, pre prepare weather forecasts. We can use these engineers in the city to help with the generator, uh, but if we close the, the weather station, we'll lose weather forecasts. Well, it's going to get... Uh, it's going to keep getting colder, I'll tell you that much, says the chief meteorologist. So we can either send them to the city. Weather forecasts will no longer be available. The engineers will set out towards our city on their own. It will take longer. Or we can bring them themselves, which is uh, they will no longer be available. They'll bring them quickly with them, or we can just leave them at their post. Um, so if you leave them at their post, you, you continue to get the weather forecasts. Uh, to be fair, the forecasts in this mission are not that important. I would just not make any promises to the people. Uh, or anything like that. Like you have access to houses already and, th and and other things like that, but it's just like, don't make promises about heating homes if you decide to take them out because you don't know when it's gonna happen. But it, in just in case you can overdrive at the beginning and you also, you can look them up online. They're, they're, it's like in the wiki somewhere if you really want to see it. I'm gonna send them to the city. They're not going to die. They're just gonna take longer to come to get over there. So I'm gonna send them over. So they're gonna take 17 hours to get back. This does mean now we do not get a temperature forecast anymore. <laughs> so important important thing to note, we do not get that. But what we're gonna do is for the next day, I'm going to throw people onto different buildings that aren't currently being manned. Because this is the this is our opportunity to finish up whatever else I don't want to do. So this building's a the, by the way, this building right here is a huge one. So absolutely put some people into that one as well. Put another steel one down, another coal one down. So this is your opportunity to kind of like, uh, for, the, for the next day is to get everybody into buildings that you want to put them into. Like things that you want to clear that are just kind of annoying. Because this is the only day I would say that you have to do this. You do not get an another opportunity. End of weather forecast. Sir, since you've recalled the engineers from the weather station, the weather forecast will no longer be available. We have to prepare for sudden weather changes. So tomorrow is is a gets kind of cooler, and then, yeah, after that, it gets, just gets worse. But we want the engineers. The engineers are good. By the way, don't let engineers die. They, it sucks when they die. Or, get, or become amputees. That also sucks, too. We may need another uh, medical post. But we'll have to see. But our our consumption is still extremely good, so we're fine on that. But yeah, I, I sent them back intentionally because yeah, I don't want them to be here. All right, so there we go. So this is the one I'm not entirely sure about. So we're gonna do a really hard save here, the hardest save known to mankind. Okay, so. Here's the thing. All right, so just to outline where we're at kind of a thing, we have six days, 18 hours to raise hope to 50%. The only way we're gonna raise hope to 50% is by going into either House of Prayer or Neighborhood Watch, one of the two, right? Um, I'm going the top route because I do actually think it's better for this mission. Um, and honestly, the like going all the way over here to the House of Healing, oh, that would be really good. But the thing is, I also really want Emergency Shift plus Extended Shift. <laughs> I really want those as well. Because we're going to use a lot of emergency shift and stuff. The thing is, I'm, I'm kind of looking at it. How's our discontent? I don't know. Every time we use emergency shift, be, they're going to get mad. But you know what? We're going to just deal with it. It's okay. Let's just do it. I really want the laws. All right. We're going to do 24-hour shift on that one. So we're going to start off with that. We're going to actually go all the way in and actually make it so that they actually get pissed off at my... Uh, usage of it and oh so not pissed off but someone's gonna die uh because i i said for this mission i'm not i'm not gonna care about people having issues kind of thing i think i really do need the the, the i think i really need the food and whatever and the and like the research i think i need it too much so a protective mother refuse to let her daughter go to work she afraid she'll be injured fine let her have a day off hope will rise like anything that raises up at this point is a good option for me i don't know who this gravely sick idiot is but yeah i think Oh, I th oh, that's the person who got their day off. I see. Let's see. Let's put a random worker into here. That sounds good to me. Who's this gravely sick person? I think it's this person. They're amputees or something. Gathering post. Resources depleted. Good stuff. Do that. So, because we had the temperature raise... 
Check it out. Look at this. It's only it's only cold, so they'll get they'll get, still get sick, but it's like very manageable, you know. But it's a good uh, it's a good opportunity for us to like just get rid of everything that's like in our way, kind of a thing. So, gathering post deleted, uh, remove depleted. Where's it at? I don't know where it was, but it's somewhere I'm sure. But we're gonna intentionally uh, work someone to death, so. Because uh, that's based. All right, yeah. There's some workers over here. Yeah, you can get rid of these. Yeah, you can see the steel runes are starting to go away. So, this, like I said, this is the, this is our only opportunity to do this. So, all right, here's your workers' huts. And let's see. So hunting tactics would be to employ five less workers. Pretty good. Um, more for later on, though. Not so much for right now. Uh, let's see. What else do we got? So I think we're kind of done with here. We do want house redesign because I want to do. I do want to make a bunch of houses. I feel that houses are pretty good in in winter home. I, I've seen some people do like bunk houses, but I'm like, to me, I'm just like, nah. I, I really like the other stuff. Steam steel works. That would be pretty important as well as a steam wall drill would be good. Uh, I guess I don't need the hub upgrade now that I kind of squish things together a bit more, so we're going to do Steam Steel Works now. Again, we're trying to stockpile the steam early on, so. Windswept Snowfield, the stinks bond of the snow, snow, uh, snow, frost land, we can use it as a, a waypoint for further exploration. Research an, our search hasn't uncovered anything for value, but we may be able to reach some more promising locations from here. Steel Bridge. Alright, let's go to the Steel Bridge. Now, do you remember what the, steel, what the Steel Bridge was in New Home? I hope you remember. I certainly hope you remember. Did it? Wait, did an engineer die? Was it night? I think one, I think we lost the engineer. Oh, I guess you do lose them, huh? I it didn't say they were going to die. So why did this idiot die then? I don't even know. Anyways, I don't know. I, I just assumed he wouldn't die, but I guess uh, I guess he did because it was twenty engineers, was it not? I thought it was like twenty engineers. All right, so gathering post depleted. Let's see. Throw some more people into some buildings. Again, this is our one, one shot, one opportunity to clear out some of the rest of this. So uh, I kind of hope that's in the way. But if uh, if these are not if these are not cleared by the end of the day, I have to put a ga gathering post around it because it come, becomes unsafe again, effectively to work these. So. I, I constantly see one gravely ill guy all the time who doesn't know how to do what he's supposed to. Maybe it was only 19. I thought it was 20. I don't know. Bright and patient. Sir, uh, one of our people is, is facing death, but he's refusing amputation. He keeps screaming that he doesn't want anyone to touch his leg and he won't change his mind. Even though gangrene will kill him in a matter of hours. Cut off his leg. This person will be let off. Let him be or he'll probably die. Oh, cut off his leg. Too bad. Off with their leg. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. All right, there's another gathering post here. Well, two of them. Yeah, these are kind of in the way. Also, there's a tent that's outside the city here, but that's fine. I can delete that. Is that it? Is there nothing else here? I guess there's nothing else here, right? Let's see. Just trying to clean up anything else that I haven't done yet. Cool. I keep looking at it because I'm, I'm like, am I going to lose like another person? Because maybe I just was wrong. Okay, we can destroy that gathering post. So yeah, if, if we don't get this, we, we're probably not going to finish that one. So we'll, we'll just throw down a gathering post right beside it. That's it. Let's see. So I need at least, I th believe, two more gathering posts, I guess. I kind of want to also throw down a... I was also thinking of, like, can I just throw down a, a the kill-in beside this guy? But I guess I can't. So we'll do this one right here. Uh, this is, like, five of them, but eh, I guess I don't really need five, do I? Yeah, because we want to have uh, whatever the steam coal thumper going like 100% or whatever. Yeah, I guess we. Yeah, yeah, I guess I won't do five then. How about the. Will the killin actually fit it? And I, I think that someone's already called me out on mispronouncing killin. You know, I'll just. I'll, I'll, I'll put one down here, anyways. That's okay. 
I've I've powered this base on on this kind of a deal. So, all right, so we have some space over here as well. Yeah, you know, I think I'm gonna make another zone anyways, because it just occurred to me that uh, I I want to actually put some more, uh, like uh, what's it called? I want to put some more uh, some more workshops into another zone. Like I want to have also two, I think, in the in the center because I want to also have them working all the time. Fortunately, that might be easier said than done, because I need some twenty-four hour ones as well. This is a situation where I probably need to place a new public house. This public house. Unfortunately, I have to destroy it and then put it, bring it back in. Because anything that works 24 hours needs to kind of be more towards the center here, so... Let's see, how's this one doing? I guess, I guess it's a good time for us to, like, fix the, the center ring. Yeah, there it is. That's what I thought, yeah. Let's have a look here. There is a tent outside the ring, too. So we're going to have to move. We also have those engineers coming in, so I have to... We have to move some things around. Can we get another uh, fighting arena? Yeah, we totally can. Here we go. Gotta have a place to fight. So it looks like they also finished with that coal patch too, so we can destroy that as well. So now the city is starting to look a lot more like a like you know an actual city. <laughs> so it took a while, but we did get there. That one's still going because of this guy here. So anything that isn't completed has to be put down with that with a th thing there. There we go. Okay, that's it. Yep, no choice. Is there one like right next to him? I think there is, right? Like who who's who's dealing with this one? One second. Oh, there's one right there. I see. Yeah, we'll probably just keep them separate. All right. Sir, uh, City. Sir, a group of survivors reached the city. They're tired and they need a place to rest, a bite to eat, and perhaps for medical attention, but they're ready to lend a hand when they can. That would be the engineers I just brought in. Yeah, they did die, because now I have 18. There was 19 before, two died. Okay, don't do that. <laughs> I didn't actually think that would do that, because uh, I, I I led them back last time. But yeah, you do want to you do want to bring them back because you need engineers, but every engineer that dies is a major thing. What an asshole. <laughs> It just like, I don't know, I just assumed like they would make it because it's like, you know, they're, they're like scout teams or something. But yeah, they had two die. Did it tell me like they would they would probably die? I don't think it did tell me that. I think it I think it lied to me. I feel I feel kind of uh, ripped off for that, you know. Anyways, we can't do anything about it now. We have to press on. Like I said, I wasn't planning on doing a, a perfect run here anyway, so. And uh, with that being said, we're far from perfect at this point, so... Oh, this is uh, in the way here, I see. Yeah, these can, these can fit this easily, so... Here we go. It's all good. So where's the... Yeah, this, this guy's working 24 hours, so... I'm still planning on fixing up these guys, though. Let's do these ones. They're gonna be a little bit mad that we don't have a public house, but you know that's a that's a risk I'm willing to take. That they'll be mad. Let's see. Okay. Well, we tried something new, and we have learned an important lesson. Okay, there we go. There's our public house. And I would like to just throw down two tech buildings here. So yeah, these are kind of annoying, but what can you do? All right. So we just finished. What did we finish? Uh, what did we finish up? We finished up on Steam Steelworks, yep. So we need to do Steam Wall Drill now. Where are they at? So, let's throw those two down. We need to heat that one. We can get this one in. That one's still in the heat zone, so we're all, all, all okay. This can be put to less hours. Tech. Workshop. Oh wow. 
I'm just trying to beat it. I don't know why I have the thing open. Oh, come on. I don't want to have them be this fat. It really annoys me when they are that fat, so... I'm gonna fat shame these, uh... <laughs> workshops to be really, really tiny. There we are. Okay, so they're still all on the grid, so we're all good. The last one. I think we could have just one more, like, down here. Okay, that should be good enough for that. So this hits the kill the charcoal killin, as well as all these buildings here. So we can keep the killin going. I might even make another one on top of that, actually. And then I can probably destroy all these buildings too. Alright, so uh there's still bridge Tomaton. This is this should be reminiscent to you about about uh how what's it called? Um what New Home went, because there was a steel bridge in that one. The bridge is maintained by Automaton. Its task is to keep it free of snow in case we need to transport resources across the ravine. So important decision here, time. Uh, so if we say explore, it will say me mechanical workforce. The automaton works tirelessly to keep the bridge free of snow and passable for resource transports. If we send it to the city, it we would cut off any outposts further down this road. Important. Scouts will be able to cross this bridge. Uh, correct ice, iron deposit. You can send it to the city, or you can leave it, uh, leave it back. You leave it be. Always leave it be. And you want to go to this iron deposit. <laughs> <laughs> it is a big mistake to send it away. Let me just tell you that right now. It's, it's a big, big mistake. Don't send it away. Uh, you will need that iron. You will absolutely need that iron. Iron comes a bit short in this mission, so... Alright, let's do some extended shifts. Hear me, hear me. New law in the city. Let's see. I'm gonna just try and put two more workshops down, because that's what I was trying to do before. What? Oh. I, I think I think someone just instantly built that. Yeah, they instantly built that thing. Let's see. Because this, like, this looks too fat to me. Probably because it is too fat to me. Right, I think that's the exact same position because it's just snapping. Yeah, it is just snapping. Actually, I can put it... I can destroy that. I think that might make it better. Yeah, that, that's better. There we go. Alright, so I'm going to put two workshops here. Let's throw the workers back in there. Children back in here making sawdust food. Excellent. Uh, oh, yes. Very important. I just forgot that I need to make a bunch of uh, hunter's hangers. This may f screw over the current food, but that's okay. We really do need it actually right now. Okay. That should do it. That's enough, uh, and that, that's all the steel that I basically used up, so. And what we're gonna do, since we have that new timing that we can do. Again, if you need the discontent, we can just reverse this later. That, that's actually really not a huge concern. You can reverse it temporarily just for the mission objective to complete, so. Okay, and this one I'll probably just put like this as well. Because we have like a good five days to deal with it, so... And that's the last law I want to sign over here, so... And let's start putting... Actually, we can just start deleting these guys. Delete you, delete you. That was probably a lot of uh, workshops, but then again, I'm going to have a lot more engineers soon. because we're going to be doing uh, House of Healing pretty soon. Because there are good places to go. Alright. Well, let's put these two guys near the generator. These ones I definitely want to go. So I'm going to alternate these ones with being overtime. And that, that one should be good. So the Houses of Healing, I'll try and put more towards the center ring, and then, like, some care houses, and then that's it. Because the, the center ring should be heated most of the time, I want to say. There are uh, another house I can over over here, so... We should try and get the last bit of people into the ring. So this is our opportunity, actually, to do the, like, uh, any, any other houses that shouldn't be in the middle here. I don't think that's gonna work. No. Any last bit of them that we want to not have be in this inane place. Yeah, 
that's too much here. Let's see. Yeah, so there's no there's nowhere else we can kind of put over here either, so that's life though. How many how many extra homes do we currently have? Let's have a look. 31. Okay. And we're not going to have that many more people coming in as either, so so this bunkhouse is not in a heat zone. So, yeah, these bunkhouses we got to get rid of. We were leaving them until the end. And then I don't think there's anyone else that has any kind of... Uh, I think that's it. I think we're, we're, we have everybody going. It will become a lot more obvious when people are, are outside of a heat zone soon enough. Alright, do these ones. You two can also do that. Again, discontent will be higher, but you know, whatever. It's like I said, we got we got a couple days to do it, and we'll just do shorter shifts and that will solve it. Okay, that should be fine. We're not really planning on making those any larger, so that's it. All right, so we're definitely at a point right now where the food needs to be normalized. So the food is good now, I would say. Uh, we'll put a couple more people onto the remainder of Hunter's Huts. I just saw someone... Okay, it's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I, I think I saw something that was, like, uh, complaining that it was, like, too cold because I, I forgot to take them off. But uh, it, was, it was fine. It worked out. They went away. Uh, let's see. So I'm going to put two more food buildings down to hunt hangers down let's see or maybe just one we'll see miraculous recovery sir we saved the burned child's life uh, although he'll build the scars for the rest of his life his survival is simply put miraculous but we're rejoicing at the news hope will rise all right so iron deposit steel rich depo uh, rich prospects the iron deposit is rich and easily accessible we could set up an outpost here process iron ore and and send steel to the city immediately good to know all right so we, we have the last coal that just went there, so we're going to immediately send the coal mine over there. Get going, my friends. We did that on purpose, and we're going to start stockpiling steel. <laughs> Very important, this mission. I think the 24-hour shift is over right now, right? Yeah, it is. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to now get someone killed, so let's go do that, because that's fun. So emergency shift, emergency shift. We're doing it to work on purpose. Oh, people are going to be very discontented now. That's life. No, they're going to be kind of butt mad, actually. One second. Overcrowded medical facilities, yeah. Well, that one I can't do anything about. Oh, yeah, don't worry about it. People are furious. Extremely discontent with your rule. Revolt can break out of you. What will you do? Hold on. Yeah, so I just have to lower discontent in two days. So that, that's actually pretty easy. It's just because it's temporary because they did emergency shifts, so... They'll, they'll go away in time. I can, I can easily get rid of that, so... It's kind of being lazy. Which actually, it's not always a bad thing to do that, because it's if you can really easily get rid of it, I think the hope goes up once you kind of do that. Okay. We got steam wall drill. Uh, we don't need hunting tactics right now. We don't need more scouts. I don't feel like you need more scouts for this uh, scenario. Um, steam hub upgrade we won't need. Improved heaters is, is meh. We don't really need that. So I think we're pretty much at the point where we can actually just go down uh, and continue down the path here. Because we're actually kind of good on, so we can go do different engine. Except I don't have enough steel for that, so we'll just wait for a second while that continues. All right, here's your overworking. Wait, wait, wait. death of overwork. So you can either end. Uh, so this is the event that I was always avoiding because it's always the second one you do. What are people suddenly die during emergency shift? I'm not sure why it was it an engineer that died. Because that's stupid, because I didn't have an engineer being over overworked. Oh, no, no, it's definitely in the other one. You can tell 9 out of 10 there. Um, we don't know how it's likely a heart attack. You can either end them for the day, or you could say, we have to make sacrifices to survive. And you always do that one, because who cares? And, yeah, Steamwall Joel, I'll wait for a little bit. All right. Let's um, do the remainder of my research that I want to do. So we want Difference Engine. Let's go do it. So, and we can throw another person onto it. Remember, don't put children onto these. These are, that's a bad idea. Let's see, where are my workers working at? Over there. Okay, so there's one over here that can definitely be children instead. Where are the children working at? Let's have a look. 
Yeah, so they're children are already working on all the children friendly places, so we're all good with that. Dull rashers kids, no we can't afford it. Because I'm not paying for the kids to eat eat twice as much. They're gonna eat me a house and home. Alright, got 32 vacant beds. Let's take out that. That one too. How many more houses do we have? That's another one. Okay. I think that basically deals with all of the ones outside of grid. So you, you can see already, this is much looking much different than what it was before. Uh, wouldn't be bad to give it a nice hard save here somewhere. This one maybe. <laughs> hey, it's hard save often, you know. It's kind of a little bit annoying. What can you do? <laughs> oh, it, it stuttered for a second. I don't even know why. All right, so we got... Divided in death. Sir, we've noticed that the dead in the snow pit have been divided into two heaps. One lie victim uh, the victims of the fires and the brutal and, and the brutal attempts to pacify the riots. Many gunshot wounds. So they have guns in this, apparently. Um, and the other well, this was a military city, so I will say that. Lore wise, that makes sense. On the on the other charred corpse of the perpetrators, the previous leader and his men. People talk about throwing them out of the city far away from the decent folk. So you can either get them out, which is discontent will fall, or they've already paid for their crimes, hope will rise. Remember, hope is harder to obtain, so that's why we're doing that path. Fortunately, my discontent has gone up once again. But we'll deal with it. It'll be fine. If, if, if needed, I'll just, like, lower it with the uh, overtime work stuff, and that's it, so... But we're pretty good. we're pretty okay now. We gotta start going into some of those other laws, anyways. So <laughs> we pretty much capped it out. That's why I don't do a whole lot of that. It's this is, becomes a lot harder on like other difficulties and things like that. It's it's really fun. So yeah, that guy's good. Oh wait, oh wait, no, was it? Oh yeah, we have laws. Okay, so we've kind of completed everything here. I don't think organ transplants would really benefit me at this point. I'm gonna go definitely into the house of prayer route. So let's start going up there. So we need to just make a ton of churches, and they could be outside of heat zones, it's fine. Nobody really cares. Okay, they care a little bit, but I don't really care. That's that's the important part. Uh, yeah, whatever. That's, this guy's not going to have anything in there. Eh, whatever, we can get two more over there. Just got to throw down, down churches wherever I can. They, they don't really go to it, so... The, the other reason that this is actually probably the best route is you, you do always have a lot of major problems with the uh, with uh, workers actually in this scenario ironically even though you see like I have like about 600 people we are going to have problems with workers at some point not not soon but it's it becomes it becomes problematic let's just go with that so so I do I do really feel like it's the better one to go for so here we go iron deposit they built it they're gonna go send me some some stuff over here. So check the coal, obviously. The consumption is doing pretty good. Actually not a bad idea to go to steam level three if you really want to, I would say. It's a problem over here, going to go eat. Oh, I don't know why they're having problems eating. Our medical is doing pretty good too. If the temperature drops again, put it to three. That's that's what I'd say. House of the Prayer built, hope rises, there you go. So we have five days to bring the hope up. Uh, the discontent doesn't really matter, it'll, it'll be fine. They won't they won't really care. And for some reason the game has gone extremely like it. Okay. So advanced steelworks, that's a that's a must. Uh, house redesign, yeah, I'd say that's probably a good idea. Flying hunter's gear is also not bad. Again, I don't I don't bother with the factory route in this because I feel it's too much research to go down this route. I feel it's just too much that you don't need. I don't even do uh, efficiency upgrades, although overdrive couplings is... Uh, yeah, you don't need the overdrive couplings, but the safety bypass I think is, is something you'd want. I'm actually not sure. But like making it burn less coal is not that important. You do get a lot of coal and you, you start with a lot of research for it right now anyways, right? So... And I have the kill-ins as well, which I actually, I, I'm going to use more of the kill-ins, I think. I might actually make another one, because I actually really like those. Those are really cool now. I've been, I'm sold, I'm sold now, what can I say? So I think what we're going to do is we're going to go for the advanced steel works, because I've been literally hinting at the fact that we're going to need a lot of steel. Especially uh, if we want to stockpile a bunch of it, we definitely need more of it, so. One of our people died, why? Lack of treatment. But I have, I have plenty of space for them, what are they complaining about? They did something dumb, because I don't know why they're going to go eat. And and it's like two going to go eat, absent two out of two. 
up to two sh workers a shift. So they were literally going and just like, like, not organizing themselves properly. So, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> That's uh, kind of a little bit buggy. All right, cracked ice. Our search hasn't uncovered anything valuable, but we may be able to reach more promising locations here. Uh, storm shelter. Let's go to storm shelter. I'm not gonna care because like it's it's not a big deal. It's it, especially for this scenario. Like I, I constantly have this gravely sick person that's not going in. They're just being an asshole. They just want to die. They're just waiting for the like uh, 69. Why do I have 69 and the person's not going in? I don't know. Again, it's not a big deal. We're we're still gonna try and get to the best scenario of this this uh, mission. So I like how the people who are responsible for getting food are gonna go eat. Maybe they're just so angry they're gonna die. So we have all, we have a good amount of food ration gain, so. Cause we did have some starving people, but it's fine. Like literal assholes. There's no reason for them to do that. Okay, we're gonna go sermon, sure, let's do that. I'm gonna try and go down to the ho uh, house of hope, uh, the, the healing uh, thing first, cause I wanna rush that. Why is it completely, okay. It, it stalled for a second. My my toaster PC is uh, overheating. I would like to get that to go actually on overdrive too. It's probably a little bit low on wood as well. I think I'm like, <laughs> I think I'm I think I'm mining Bitcoin right now, honestly. Okay, now it's starting to look more normal. Like having a couple out is not a big deal to me. That's that's perfectly fine to me. So it's not like I'm gonna keep it the way it is. Again, once we get the House of Healing up, then uh, they'll they'll have the capacity to deal with whatever I need. So, the most of the sick do come from why I don't wait. I don't understand. Nobody was gravely sick. Oh, amputee suicide. The man, you, the leg you ordered. Oh, I guess I wasn't supposed to. Well, I guess he was gonna die anyways. The amputated has committed suicide. Left a note. I can't live like this. Unable to work and without purpose. I I don't oh, don't want to be burdened just to feed. We did what we have to, or we must do something about it. I have to sign six. I'm gonna say we did what we had to. Hope will fall, death will rise. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Why is it, it feels like it's stalling right now. I don't even know why though. Okay, one second. Something's like lagging on my PC right now. Okay, I don't know. I don't know exactly what what it was, but I closed a bunch of stuff, and we'll see what it, what it does. I see some kind of background process that was uh, not cooperating with me or something. I don't know what the hell. Anyways, back to back to good old Frostpunk. Literally ruining my immersion. Actually, I just realized I have like two churches here. Whoops. Let's just destroy that one. I mean, I guess I guess there's no point in me destroying it. I, I've already made it at this point. They don't cost that much, do they? I don't think they cost that much, do they? Yeah, it's like thirty wood, ten steel. That's not a big deal. That's not a big deal. We're, we're going to have to deal with the discontent at some point, so... It, I can't really sign a law that will really help on that, anyways. Okay, this is a pretty important one. Storm Shelter. We, as we enter the shelter, a group of scientists and explorers grease this warmly. Explorer. Call up the explorers. We have some promising leads, but I I'll understand the exploration of Frostland is given is uh, given second priority in our circumstances, says the team leader. Shall we tell these people to leave their work and move to the city? Again... It just says it takes longer. It doesn't say they die. Why does it troll me like this? Anyways, um, so for this one, if you want the secret canon ending, uh, keep, keep them there. And there's a chance you'll get a little event at the very end of the scenario if you leave them there. Uh, it's essentially, I don't want to spoil it too much, but keep them, keep them going, so... So just let them carry on, is what I'd say. I, if you're doing like a run where you're like, oh, I want to actually like beat the game or whatever, then yeah, by all means, don't don't leave them there, take them. They're very useful to, to, to keep. So, but for the time being, not that important. So I probably should get the other scouts at some point. Just one other group of scouts. We'll see. Oh, well, it looks like we're hungry, but we're not that hungry. Yeah, because I have like a bunch hungry, but we, we should have enough food now. Uh, it actually might be worthwhile to get us some more uh, resource depots. Let's see. That's wood. We don't need that anymore. We can get raw food. Uh, yeah, I'll keep one wood. We do need steel, though. Absolutely need steel. We do need coal as well. Actually, we, we need to keep stockpiling coal now that I think about it. Get some more coal. 
and some more food rations. So generator is still not having a good time, but we we do have like a, we do have four day, four days to deal with it. So we actually have a lot of time, which is really nice. Advanced steelworks, hooray! All right, so next one, we do. I think I was looking at that. house redesign is not a bad idea. Hunting tactics and also flying hunters gear. We'll do that first. So this one I'll do food rations. I think uh, I guess I need more, more. Oh yeah, we we. Of course we we stocked out on uh on steel again. Hold up. Cuz I, I the minute I put the minute I opened one up for for coal, it's like uh yeah, now we had too much for it, so. But we got enough food now, so they all have enough now to basically eat whatever they want, so that's okay. It's it's kind of sad cuz that has 20 engineers though. We basically passed up on, but then again, I killed like two of them by sending them back to the city regularly. Whoops, didn't know that. But I don't know. I, I, I hate hidden mechanics in games like that. It did explain it to me. Then again, I guess there's an assume, assumption you can make that like, but like, why do people die when they're traveling back? Why do scouts not die? I don't know. I don't know. It's one of those things. It's a kind of just funky thing with the Frostpunk universe, I guess, right? You know. All right, we're going to wait for these two to finish. They're done. Let's go pull out the advanced steel work, steelworks. Do I not have an additional? I guess I don't have an additional thing here. We don't really need anything over here, though. Do we need this guy here? I don't think we need him here either. Okay, get rid of that too. All right, and so advanced steel works. We need 80 wood. What on earth? Okay, is there like a something I could just destroy or something or what? Oh, hold up. Why is this actually not? No, I guess I guess there really isn't anything I could destroy to get that much wood back. Nah. Feels bad. You know, I could just get them to work overtime on this thing. Although that's definitely not going to uh, make my situation better. Hey, but you know what? Look at this. We're, we actually have like 25 in, in the... We actually kind of fixed our healing situation now. We can get more people to, to go and uh, do some other things here. So let's do emergency shift. I'm not saying I should bring everybody out of it, but I'm saying I could bring some people out of it. This is definitely not going to help the situation if I keep doing that, actually. I should be a little bit careful. Rebirth of Faith. Sir, people have uh, started to visit the House of Prayer. There aren't many of them yet, but it may start something special. They seem they seem to like, they need a real place of worship. Cool. Works for me. I think I have to be a little bit more careful, actually. Maybe I will destroy one of these churches because I need the I need the resources back. Refusal to work. A man assigned to emergency shift to refuse to work. He said he's already worn out. He doesn't want to have to die like his friends. You let him rest, um, or he can get back to work. So everything will make them basically piss off. So I mean, what what are you gonna do, right? But that's okay. He can. Uh, I don't know why he had a pickaxe. He's literally a scientist, but he can just reassign people. It's fine. Uh, well, we may need the house redesign. Yeah, let's do that next. We'll get these going. Do I actually have a... I actually never made the steam wall drill, did I? No, I didn't. Well, we can do that now. It's fine. That's probably why I have less wood than I think I, I'm supposed to. And you can see already as it is, the sick have gone up again. Pretty majorly. Not sure if you can hear that. I'm gonna just close the window. Sorry, someone's doing like yard stuff outside. I closed it as much as I could, we'll see. It's a little bit hot today, but whatever. <laughs> I'll feel colder by playing this game, we'll be fine. Uh we may need an additional Let's get one more actually. There you go. Everyone goes in. Okay, so back to purpose. Uh, shrine's very, very good. Uh, eating prayer is also pretty good. But this raises the hope of people working nearby, so I'm gonna try and rush to... Houses of Healing. Hopefully that works out. We need to make some shrines all over the place. That one's also pretty good. Is that all I have a room for? I guess that's it. We really need that wood, don't we? <laughs> 
Sorry, I realized that that wood is uh, becoming a problem. Yeah, we're out of wood. Go figure. You know what? I actually might turn off the killing. Because this is something... I think, again, I think I keep getting screwed by it. Because I, I'm used to having a lot more than I normally would. Do Frozen Pond. Either that or I usually had another uh, scouting workforce. I, I might I might actually make it uh, some other scouts. That might that might be what I end up doing. I don't think I'm gonna need this anymore. I'm gonna destroy that. And I slowly start retiring these old ones. Oh, I also forgot about um, the discontent. <laughs> it didn't give me a warning. It's because I got up like twice. I totally forgot about it. <laughs> well, good thing I saved it. Uh, I saved it many times. <laughs> totally forgot about it. Uh, well, I guess you get to see this. You're disposed. A band, uh, band of grim men drags you under the generator. The crowd erupts with angry shouts. Hang the bastard. So much generator. You're summarily, summarily judged and spared death sentence. In recognition of your efforts, you're banished from city instead. I did my best. Let me go. Let me go load her up again. A slight, slight little load. I think there's an auto save at the beginning of the day. We could we could get it done pretty early, so either that or do like Moonshine Law or something. Like we ha we have a couple of op options, but the the easiest way is actually just to yeah. Damn, I didn't have a lot of space, time left for it, did I? All right, here's what we're gonna do: flying hunter's gear. Yeah, you know I'm gonna do. I am gonna do the second band of scout Barry scouts. I guess I really shouldn't have done that other one. But yeah, the twenty overtime work is uh, yeah. This content is greater than maximum value, 109. But I'll, I'll, I'll just move people around, that's fine. We'll just wait for the next day to start. See, they're all fed in everything, so it's fine. But yeah, there's four times... Of, uh, the, the, the emergency shift actually lasts a long time. So, I might hold on to that law thing, because... I don't know, we could just do that real fast. Yeah, these, these don't lower discontent, though. Eh, we'll see. <laughs> I, I, I'm sure it's still salvageable at this time, so... He says, hopium. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, so there's the cold at work kind of thing, so we can bring that temperature up of the generator. Alright, let's see if we can take off the overtime everywhere. Uh, yeah, take that one off, take that one off. There you go, see? I told you it would, it would work. And then we can just put it back on again. <laughs> so... <laughs> so who cares? Done and done. It, it wasn't that nice, guys. You had you had one hour of, uh... Or not even an hour, I paused it. And it was like, oh, oh. And then it's like, you know, it goes right back the way it was. We don't have to deal with the, the medical, medical medicine tents. That's why I said I didn't have to do anything. Alright, scouts research. Let's do the housing design, except I can't. Yeah, I'm just going to turn this off. So how's our coal doing? Pretty good right now. I never upgrade the drill because I'm stupid. Well, let's see. Um... I still want to get that house redesign done. Oh, well, let's get the, uh, this guy going over here. I mean, I know there's some wood around there somewhere. I just forgot. So this was not as efficient as I probably should have made it. So I didn't, I didn't make the wall drill last night, the, the better one. Breath of hope. People started to leave uh, personal charms, beads, and written prayers at shrines. As vault have offerings, it seems that they're trying to keep their spirits up during these trying times. Good times. Shrines. Let's see. I also want one up here, too. Now, the shrines, interestingly enough, don't actually apply to the hunters' the huts, unfortunately. But, you know, there's actually not a whole lot of stuff they actually apply to after that, so... 
I'll give him another one over there. That'll be fun. Trines belt. Okay, they're gonna pray more often. Good to hear. Alright, house redesign finished. Now that's gonna be due automatic prototyping, but I don't think I can get that far up there, so. Uh I don't see anything else that's particularly good. It's just more that I don't have enough um, wood right now. I guess I have to do this one eventually, so I might as well do that. Do I have some free people? Let's have a look. I do, so let's bring them out. Stone ship, let's go. I didn't even bring the sick people out, but that's okay. Food for overtime work. People are becoming less and less committed to their work, perhaps so we should at least give them food rations for, for sweat, if they're sweating butt on a measure or just shift. Yes. Hope will rise, or nothing will change now. We'll just we'll, we'll say, oh, I think, oh, shoot. I think you do want to say yes. The reason being is because then they'll stop dying on sh overtime shifts. I don't think I'm going to use it that much more. I don't know. I kind of feel like I do want to load it back. I totally forgot about that event, Shane. Let's just, I'm going to load it back. I don't mind. Well, and you know what, this actually gives me an opportunity to also fix that wall drill up, because uh, I was just talking about that one. Is there anything else I was doing? Yeah, this is before they were uh, on, they were still mad at me at this point. So I think, I think, yeah, more scouts is definitely in the cards. I'll just, uh, I'll just let the first shift start and then uh, I'll deal with it. Okay, go to this one and I'm going to turn off the killing. The kill, the kill I think, is just like, every time I use it, I always find a reason that I don't like it. <laughs> so, I think it's really what the problem is with me. What, what's the deal with this? Why does this not actually line up? I need like one more steelworks. Alright, so we can go back into shrines, like I was talking about. Listen, everyone. New law is signed. Yeah, these ones are... These are the most important place to get the efficiency going for. Alright, so he's waiting over here. Let's get him to the frozen pond. I think I, I think I put like two more in the center ring and that was it. Unfortunately, this guy is going to be in the way, so I have to figure out where to move him out to. Yeah, no, I can't do that. I think I'm gonna destroy that and just put a tent up where that is. We can go to, yeah, we already have level three steam. That's fine. Get going. Time to earn your and we we'll put a tent up right there. Done and done. Yeah, because this is too cold now for them, so. Okay, there's your scouts. Oh yeah, that's right. I have to lower the <laughs> lower the discontent. Uh, let's make sure we do that. So, what did I do last time? I think I was doing like yeah, I was doing house redesign. Fuck! I, I just, <laughs> why? Oh my god! I, if I just paused, I would have been fine. Meanwhile, two auto saves later. <laughs> no, no, I, I loaded it again. I'm just like, I'm just gonna go back here. So, I'm gonna do the steam wall drill. It's actually not hard to deal with it. I was just being like dumb about it. I'm, I'm like incredibly lazy about it. Also, let's just go with that. Um, I guess we can just deal with it now. So it's, it's actually fairly easy to deal with that. So you're just gonna go like, hey, every single thing go here. By the way, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop the killing and turn it off actually entirely. It may, it will probably be useful later. Whoops, I didn't mean to, to dis deassign people from it. I mean, see, as I kind of keep going through this, right? I don't, I, I can even just have the game paused while it's doing this. Look at this stuff. It's funny as hell. Uh, that one didn't actually have anyone working there. It's a clear abuse of the mechanics. Let's just go with that. 
I don't know if I need this coal mine anymore. Oh, and oh, look, we managed to place it by get our people. Okay, everyone, back on, back on to long shifts. I think I'm gonna just destroy this coal mine. I don't need it. I think I'm pretty good with this uh, lovely one here. That one's fine. Let's see. That, that's okay. Put everyone back on. I don't remember which ones I turned off. That one I did turn off. <laughs> so yeah, you can just do it while you're paused and then you get rid of that event chain completely, so. Oh no, I want I wanted them on. Alright. So now we're flying hunters, and I think I'll put it into house redesign. Oh no no no, wait, wait, not that one. So let's get let's get scouts, because scouts are important. Hi. New board. Uh, where is it at? Okay, so scouts, scouts. I think we actually need to start going out and getting them, so. I'm gonna just uh, throw these guys all onto the max amount. So, I mean, we actually have a good amount of time. I don't know, understand why this one broke. Quite annoying. We'll see. Uh, we may need, we have a pretty good amount of people now. I'm going to put up to steam level 3. We'll see how this goes. Because I'm, I'm getting rid of this coal mine now, because I, I really don't want it actually anymore. That's no longer needed, because we have that temperature drop that we're aware of now. Alright, let's just fast forward it. You can be going 600 hours. Oh yeah, one of the things we can do is we can destroy this guy. I'm going to actually, there's actually one more tent over here that has a really bad locations so I'm going to I didn't even I didn't even realize he was there he's a little stealthy bugger why does he need to say that his, his place is in cold all right let's go to shrines and I think I think that is the new one right yeah so I think I did that this time so we'll, we'll just see this through I probably should save it right after I kind of do this because I'm just like yeah Otherwise, I'm just annoyed. <laughs> Once I can save. Whatever this is, I don't care. Alright, so we got this guy. He can go over to the frozen pond. So we have five people gravely sick. I'm probably going to try and rearrange people so that... Uh... Uh, actually, I can. I just have way too many workers right now, actually. It's like I said, engineers are always the part that's the weak... The, the one that you can't get enough of, I, I feel, in this mission. Why is he doing that? Hey, you know what? It clearly does not agree with me, so I'm just going to tell it to do its thing. Alright, more scouts. Alright, with that being said, we can either go house redesign or steam hub range. I'm going to do house redesign. Uh, this is the new one, right? Yeah, there you go. Steam wall drill good stuff that's what i want to see i guess i'll just send I just, I, i'll just send whoever out i don't even care where's my uh oh we okay i was gonna say we don't have enough wood but now we do okay there you go i mean every time i've killed and i'm like i now i have no wood <laughs> the sound is brian's bell pe hope rises so we still have three days left to do something with that i probably need to get the um the more of the event chains that we could do i i'm curious if it basically screwed me but it well, we'll see so by the fellow people have started to leave personal charms beads and written prayers as shrine uh, at shrines as a part of uh, our offerings it seems that uh, for them to keep their spirits up in these trying times yeah because this is a lot of time to get like essentially half of the the hope left but every single law i should be signing should effectively be doing that now so all right can't quite do that one let's do a steam hub upgrade Food for overtime work. People are becoming less and less committed to work. Perhaps we should give them extra rations uh, while they're sweating blood on emergency shift. Say yes. The reason why you say yes is because, well, A, we have the really good one. But they will stop dying, actually. That's a that's a little bit of a... I mean, the hope rising is another benefit, but um, they're going to stop dying on overtime shifts. That's the main reason you do it. Because we want people to stop dying <laughs> on these shifts. All right, so frozen, uh, frozen pond, new landmark. Uh, our search hasn't uncovered anything of value, but we'll be able to uh, find some more things. Try to shout a cave from here. Okay, let's go. 
I just hope that, like, I haven't put myself into an irreparably bad situation by not having, uh, enough, uh, time for hope. So, the thing I really want is I want House of Healing. Because it doesn't, so this is the one that doesn't require engineers, blah, blah, blah. You'll have to build a House of Healing. It heals people who are in the infirmary, I don't care, but I could also do, uh, I could also do Evening Prayers. That's a... One day, 12 hours. This is one day, 12 hours. I think because of the cooldown, I have to do evening prayers first. I think I have to do that first. I don't think I have a choice. Even though I kind of want this, I'm going to have to wait on that. Because we need that. We need the hope to go up now. <laughs> so. All right, stone ship. District spot on the, uh, on the wasteland. Yeah, it hasn't uncovered anything of value, but we can find more sites. Rusting Hulk. Okay, let's go to, to the Rusting Hulk. Does this guy have anything important? He's just got some steel on him. Looks like we've also solved our steel situation too, so we can actually put throw down another one here. Let's see, Faith. Yeah, I just need to put them around these buildings. Uh, so their efficiency is like 108%, so working your shrine. One guy's gonna go, there you go, 120% for this guy. So pretty good, not so bad. We could put some more around some of these, like, uh, medical posts as well. Ish, I would say. But I kind of don't want to at the same time, because we're about to replace them with, like, better buildings, so. Alright, so, we have the Steam Hub Rup upgrade, that's fine. Can I go automatic prototyping? I can. Okay, so with that upgrade, we have to basically put these all back to down to one, or otherwise it's going to eat a bunch of power, and I don't think we need any more than this. I am very much against that. There we go. Oh, this one too. Alright, so we have like minimum coal. So it's still going down a little bit. So this is where the killing might come in, but we could just make another place for them to grab coal from. I don't know. The thing is, this also could produce slightly more coal, and we're going to get that at like the next stage. I don't know. Like I said, like I said the killing actually might not be a bad idea. I think maybe I could afford to put it back on. Let's Let's put it back on. Where are we at now? No stone overdrive, sorry. <laughs> okay, yeah, the, with the killing, it definitely works. Maybe we'll just do the killing for now on. No, no, we won't. Actually, never mind. I changed my mind again. <laughs> the reason being is because I want to make houses soon. Soonish. Soonish gonna make houses, so. We're just trying to get everything we need for hope at the for this time being, so. Alright, some raw food at the Shrouded Cave. Perfect refuge. The cave is deep and surprisingly warm. There's even fresh water source here. Perfect hideout. All right. And that that's it for there. We can go to the Baron Hollow now. Yeah, I'm just trying to make sure my hope's in check. Um, like I said, I could put it, I could throw down another coal deposit or something, but I, I'd rather do thumpers at this point. If I were to do thumpers, I'd do a very elaborate setup for it, so. Uh, probably, you know what, not the worst idea. Let's go do it. I thought about it, and I've determined that's what I want to do. Let's do another st coal thumper, because we actually have a lot of people for this, actually. Put a faith shrine down there, too. Gathering, one, two, three... What the on earth was that? <laughs> that became a very thick one. Alright, there we go. We actually have, we do have a lot of uh, room here for just making a whole bunch of stuff. Jenner is still like creaking and, and all that, so two days left. All right, let's see. Steam, steel and steam cores, rusting remains of one of our dreadnoughts. We've stripped this machine of all usable materials. Not much left. Uh, in our hurry to get steel for construction, we left uh, some less accessible parts. We can now get them and choose some materials. So that's 122 steel, one steam core, excellent. Uh, we can start heading back to that rock formation. That sounds good to me. Alright, so we got this. We can now go... So we got a lot of options here. Let's have a look. Additional scouts, we will not need any more of that. I would mainly go for the wall drill and then the then the, then the steam thumpers. That would be my plan for the time being. Alright, one level. Only on during the night. Or sorry, during the day. Workers, children. 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 More children. Okay. 
I'll put a couple more resource deposits up as well. Just to make sure we have enough of everything that we possibly need. We don't need actually that much, uh, like, science-y stuff done. We're, we're actually pretty good on that, so... Actually, you know what? We didn't really need the... We didn't need the... The, the Houses of Healing quite yet. I'm not going to say that's going to stay that way, but it's for now, so... You know, by face, sir, we're holding a, a prayer of uh, evening this afternoon. Plenty of people are here. They're praying. They're also talking and laughing. I haven't seen a, that kind of thing in our city for a long time. Really brought the community together. Glad to hear that. So, again, we'll just use it again once it's off cool down, so... That should be enough to actually win us out, because it's just just in time to. I, I, I'm gonna say it was it was definitely close. It was definitely close for the hope uh, situation. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's get some more coal, coal, some steel. We're stockpiling steel intentionally, so, and we'll get some food rations to go with it. I wouldn't mind doing some emergency shift action here. Because we, we don't actually mind the discontent. As long as it doesn't lower hope, we're fine. I, I kind of wanted to get that uh, that wall drill finished. Because it's also it, it's also heat as well. It gives you a, a ton of heat to, uh, to work with as well. Insulation, so to speak. And we're going to have to destroy these and then do something else funny with it. Because I, I don't want them in, in the middle there anymore. How's our... Yeah, our consumption's good. As long as we're saving some coal, that's then we're fine. I could probably get the Houses of Healing next. I don't think, I don't think that'll be a problem because I have a day 17, so... Advanced wall drill. Let's do it. That's the last one. Just because how close we're at, yeah. See, look at look at that insulation. There you go. So we just heat this one all the time because it's the only one that's kind of outside of our uh, heat zone. That's that. So, all right. Just because how close it is, I, I'm not entirely confident. I'm not gonna do this one, but I will do like uh, one of these other saves. I'm not entirely confident we'll be able to do it because what I might have to do is to raise hope enough. I may have to do. Yeah, Faith Keepers won't do it. Temple, I might have to do. But I think with this, I may have to... Like, this might work. I don't know. We'll see. The uh, the Gaver move would be to actually do Temple. Uh, but we'll do House of Healing. Alright, new landmark. Your search hasn't recovered anything of value, but we may be able to find more promising locations. Frozen Forest. Okay, we'll go to the Frozen Forest. That should actually give us a bunch of wood, shouldn't it? Alright, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to disable... One of these guys. Take out some of this. Let's go rearrange some of this. Uh oh. Um, randomly gonna go low because I'm not. I'm not dealing with the entire base being down like that. <laughs> that's uh, that's pretty bad. I'm gonna try to see. Is that? Yeah, we'll have enough. We'll know. We'll have enough hope. We should have enough hope because because me completing the. House of Healing should actually be enough for that, too. Alright, let's see. Uh, what was I doing? I don't even remember. Yeah, okay, so I just finished that. Let's do Coal Thumper Injectors. Let's do that. Yeah, so there's gonna be two houses not available. Let's go shuffle these guys around. Is that it for housing? I'm just going to wait for them to deconstruct those and... Hello, my friends. You have one job right now. There is housing of healing. So these are the buildings I didn't make previously. They're kind of nice, I guess. But, you know, it is what it is. I... There, but it just requires a death, so it it needs it needs to be fed a death. I would like to make them if it would actually like complete that road. I think it did now, right? All right, well, yeah, I think we're good now. All right, so we can make two of these guys. Is that is that actually as as far as it can be? Eh, probably not. 
One second. I'm trying to see if I can fit something in the middle here. How's of healing? Nope. If I do that, I will not definitely not have enough. Yeah, I was kind of hoping to fit some care houses in here, but it looks like it's going to be a lot tougher to do that than I would have thought. Alright, through faith alone, that's what will uh, drive this entire place. So we have to make one house of healing. So we have one day, eight hours to do it. And that's how much hope we have currently. We can just remove another one. And we can throw workers into these. So House of Healing has been uh, made, and this can support... It's it's kind of like a lesser infirmary, but doesn't require a steam core. If you kind of want to get a, a base of what it was. So it's, it's slower than this infirmary, but it's still pretty good. It's it's actually... A, like, it just... Because you can do it with just workers, apparently. So through, so through Faith alone, they basically heal. I don't know how it works. So Burn Hollow. I haven't uncovered anything, but oh yeah, we've done this one. And then... And we go to uh, the frozen forest. These are rock formation. Again, finding new place. We're going to last the last camp. Let's go ahead up there. I would really like to get these guys going. So we're probably going to start making a bunch of housing right now in a minute. But they're pretty good because they actually they actually also could have up to ten people too. So. Well, with the doubling, it's like double that too, which is super cool. Why is there an MPT coming? They, they don't just stay in the, they don't, they shouldn't be using up space. Uh, but he got sick, I guess. I don't know what he did. Asshole. Why we get sick like that? All right, let's have a look. All right, so the coal thumper injectors are completed. Steam hub efficiency upgrade. That's a good one to get now. We have more people to work with too. So again, when we wanted to remove discontent, I'm just going to remove everybody from uh, whatever the... I'm going to remove everyone from overtime shifts, and that will be how we solve that problem. We have one hour... So yeah, so we will not get another loss, so if we don't manage to do it with that, we will have to reload, so... But we, we got like two of these, so... I mean, discontent will fall slightly and all that kind of stuff, so... We should be okay. It's doing okay. It's just 14 overtime work. That's what it is. It overcrowded medical facilities. So as long as those get kind of fixed up, then we're fine. So I'm not too concerned. Uh-oh. Is it... No, we're... Dude, are you kidding? We're just a little bit below the amount of hope we need. <laughs> Great. Well, let's hope an event comes in, because I, I can't do another one, so... I was kind of hoping it wouldn't do this, but, uh, yeah. And slightly miscalculated, I must be at like 94% or something, because this would have, uh, completed by now. Uh, what else can I do to, to help with this? I guess I could, you know, I could actually do, I could do another, um, shrine. Or two. Yeah, if I do that, that might tip me over the edge. We'll see. Maybe that's enough to do it? I don't know. Because I only need 1% more. Because this would be a couple more people working by a shrine. Last camp. Uh, I, we expect these people to make their way to the winter home in the third dreadnought. Now it seems like some calamity must have befallen them. We should try and find the rest of them. And not just because this part of the expedition was carrying out several steam cores. Mighty wreck. So one steam core... 129 steel. All right, we can go to the mighty wreck. Come on, please, please let that that work. Because <laughs> I can't, I physically can't get another one. That would be the worst thing, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna need an event that gives me more hope, actually. Huh. All right, there's some wood here. There's a fair amount of usable wood we can take with us to winter home. Alright, I'll send it back. I guess we should have done the temple. Alright, a little bit cooler. A little bit warmer, sorry, is what I meant to say. I'm debating, I'm debating of, of other ways of adding more hope, but... Maybe, maybe I need to add 34 House of Healing here. Maybe I just need to add another House of Healing. Maybe that's what all I need to do. Uh, I'm trying to think of ways I could deal with this, but yeah. 
Uh, what can I do with this one? Let's see. I was thinking of just throwing that in here, but... Okay, let's let's see if I can do that, because I have like 14 hours left to raise the hope by 1%. Steam Hub Efficiency. Well, there's nothing I can research that would do, help this, by the way, so... Um, yeah. You know what it is? It's like one death or anything like that would definitely do it in that case. I just need a temporary raising of uh, hope. Really? You don't count as being in the heat zone if I have you like this, huh? What if I uh, cheese it a little bit? Nope. Well, I'll just try and throw it down and see what happens. I'll just I'll just throw like two of them down, because why not? Are you kidding me? Someone oh that's right. Uh the it's this is the guy who dies, by the way. A uh, sir die man wrote a letter to you in the house of healing. I, I will die a good death in due time, not due from pain or illness or cold, I will die in peace knowing that our city is in good hands. I I <laughs> you understand that more than food and shelter. People need something to nourish their souls for this, I thank you. This is the required death of uh house of healing. May he die in peace. He just fucked my run. It's a child. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, you can have children working this as well. I just I just remembered this is actually a safe place for them to go. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna say without a doubt, um, because of that, <laughs> we can't actually get it to go. Alright, uh, we're gonna load back <laughs> because it's gonna it's gonna lose. Alright, so uh, uh temple it is, guys. House of Healing, uh forget that one. Temple it is. Good times. <laughs> There's like one percent off. I d listen, I did the math and the math came out slightly behind, okay? Alright. <laughs> Alright, this one doesn't need to be in a heat zone, so I'll just throw it wherever, I don't even care. Right, I'll put it like somewhat close to a heat zone, that's what I'll do. I'll put it like over here. I'll be fine. Big rips, my friends, big rips. There may have been an action option somewhere there. I'm not sure. I didn't look any any harder. I just got mad. <laughs> I didn't get. I wasn't physically angry, but you know, that's how close. To get. Imagine doing that Survivor. You've done it up until this point, and guess what? If if you were playing Survivor and you got to that point, then yeah, you'd be screwed. All right, hope rises. Ceremonial thing. There we go. Look at that. We're, we've made it across. So let's have luck. Let's do Steam Hub efficiency upgrade. So we can just go reduce discontent right now so let's just start doing that and we can just put it back the way it was when we're done no plea of the faithful a, a priest is here with his followers are asking you to, to cut the opening public op uh, public house opening hours they contend to the pleasures that uh, it offers poison minds and souls of people oh shoot I should have clicked that after I did the thing I'm not I'm not doing that it, that didn't bring me- that brought me back down! <laughs> Just- I'm not closing the public house, I want the public house. Guys, they deserve it, okay? They deserve it. They've- they've had it hard. <laughs> I've had it hard, look at me, I, look at what I'm dealing with, okay? I hate winter home. <laughs> this place sucks. God, that that one percent hope. It's just like it's like you know what? I I'm mostly I'm mostly hopeful, but just not quite enough. All right. Fuck off, scouts. You don't know what I've been dealing with all day. Uh, where is it at? We're doing steam hub efficiency. Man, I have like a bunch of them not set to the proper hours. Yeah, these ones are not configured correctly either. Yeah, this one could be set to eighteen then. So what, what's still set to overtime work? I may actually have to do the other thing, I just realized. Because I just realized that they're not actually... I can't bring discontent quite low enough. Unless I can do fighting arena or something to just edge it out. Oh yeah, these guys don't have a fighting arena. They need a place to fight, I say. It's just slightly too high, huh? 
I didn't think it would be that close. Temple is built. There we go. Okay, we did it. Okay, we're all good, guys. Just uh, maybe don't make it so close. You're playing on Survivor, I'd say. Winter Wells have recovered under your able management. Yeah, that's a joke. Uh, <laughs> your people will now pull you through thick and thin, convinced you are the right leader for the trying and troubled times. Now we must find out what's wrong with the generator. First, we need to research uh, and build the generator repair station so we can so we can examine the generator. Okay, so... Jesus, this took me like two and a half hours, basically. So, <laughs> just like saying. All right, so let's... First off, let's throw everything back down to the way it was earlier. We got a bit of time to deal with that, so... I do want this house of healing, I really do. They're really nice. Let's see. We could also get some more overtime going for these... I can't get too much overtime going, though. I'm gonna have to... I'm, I want to do it with the wall drill, actually. Oh, let's put the... Actually, I guess we'll just put this right back to the way it was. Because we don't really need overtime for these buildings, actually, I just realized. Alright, uh, let's see. Yeah, they're all good. Okay, this guy's fine. Because we don't, we don't actually need overtime for everything. Just, just mostly we want the other machines to go, so... We're gonna let the steam hub efficiency go, but there's something to research. Alright, no, we will not change anything. I want the public house. Its effect will fall by 20%. That's, that's, uh... That's, that's no-go for me. Hope is now pretty easy actually to bring up now, so I'm just gonna keep spamming a bunch of stuff for that. Repair station research. Sure, we can now research the new technology will allow us to uh, build the repair station and investigate it. So it's like uh, it's over here, but I'm gonna finish what I was doing with the steam hub stuff first. So we we have an entire three three days or so, so we're we're good. So burn hollow. Have a look at that. Okay, it's frozen forest. Yeah, we've already been here, so let's do that. Because soon we're going to start making those houses as well. Last camp, sure. So maybe I should give this a hard save, because I was I was, I was was unsure about my build order. Obviously, if I didn't go for the the shifts, it, I would have been not as close as this. So if you're doing this on Survivor, definitely go down the safer route and not do the shifts. But I, I just like technology too much. What can I tell you? How can you blame me? I like tech too much. But it's rough. I got to say, it's rough. This mission is rough, and that's why, like, you make any minor greedy mistake, and um, they basically they basically know where you live, and they will they have your they have your number, and they will absolutely kick you out of the city. Actually, I should probably start actually making some actual houses now. Okay, steam hub efficiency. So with that being said, we can now go do the repair station. I'm done. I'm down for that. It's also very cheap research too, so that's also why I'm down for that. So I've been slowly stockpiling steel. Uh, very, very good to do. And also, don't rush on any of the researches that you don't need to be doing, because it, I could get this done really fast, but there's a downside of getting this done really fast, and that that basically it, it speeds through the, the entire, like, chain, right? And, like, just stockpiling some resources, like steel and stuff, is, is just a good idea, I feel. I think I think that's overall like a, a a badass idea just to like keep making a bunch of things that you kind of need. Let's go also get some more resource depots because I would like to get some more food rations for some reason, unbeknownst to anybody. <laughs> we are doing the research. It's like eighty-five percent, so don't worry about it. Let's look at these two going too. But I'm gonna make like two houses of healing, and then I'm probably also gonna make uh, what's the what's the last part? Um, I'm probably gonna make care houses too, because that that's a good place to have the amputees go. Hey, I only have forty. Good. That's uh that's useful. That's a that's a nice round number. Steel and steam cores, sure. Take resources. All right. Oh, I didn't... I, did I read that last time? I don't think I read that last time. Oops. We expected uh, these people to make their way to to, uh, to Winter Home for the Third Dreadnought. Now it seems like some calamity must have befallen them. We should try and find the rest of them. Not just because this part of the expedition is carrying several steam cores. Yeah. I guess I did read it. Sorry. I, I need to make sure. I, I don't know how this video is going to be edited in the end. Let's, let's be fair. <laughs> That's how I am. Uh, sure, more steel. Why not? Alright, let's see. Some frozen forest. 
for amount of usable wood we can take with us to Winterholm, and that's it. So this doesn't actually count as an outpost. I, th I, I guess I thought it was. No, no, I never said it was. Okay. I said food, coal, and iron, and that's it. But the iron depot is the most important one. It's th it's very, very, very valuable. Okay. So repair station research completed. Uh, let's see. Improved heaters wouldn't be bad, as well as house insulation is not terrible. Hunting tactics wouldn't be bad either. We got a couple of options here. I think I already made that. Oh, steam, coal, and thumper injectors. We need that. I thought I already had that. And this, we already have the advanced wall drill. So we're already out of steam cores, which is uh, kind of sucks, but what are you going to do? Uh, so we have the research station, so we can just go put that up right now. Sorry, that, this is the uh, repair station, I should say. There's still some sick, but I'm doing House of Healing pretty much next, but I'm going to delay it. So Repair Station requires 60 engineers, uh, but I'm not going to rush it too much because we actually have a couple of days to do. What I'll probably do is I'll, I'll take, uh, after this day, I'll put someone on it. It's a, it's a 24 hour building that's just around the generator, which is neat. But I'll, I'll wait on it for now. All right. So with that being said, we have coal thumper injectors. That one's fine. Gathering post insulation, yeah. So we don't need lighter sleds um, or anything like that. There's a building, there's a research that we don't have yet that I won't talk about that we, we will be getting at some point. You remember that there's faster outpost teams. It's not here right now, but it will come into play soon enough. Cookhouse insulation would be bad. Neither is healthcare insulation. I think we could do hunting tactics to just bring people out of the thing. I'm just looking at what we need now. Because, like, a coal upgrade isn't that big. It, the generator itself doesn't actually burn a lot of uh, a lot of fuel. The steam hubs did, though. So we saved a lot on that. Maybe, maybe improved heaters. Maybe we'll do that. Yeah, so nobody's going to be doing it right now. Oh, we're actually just completely bonkers on food right now. Whereas the, uh... We do have to kind of get it going soon, which is why, like, I'm going to do it in a moment. Let's see. Change of heart. Sir, a man of sound crying uh, silently in the temple. He approached... Uh, we approached him and asked if he needed help. He told us he wanted to see you. My faith, I thought my faith died a long time ago, sir. My wife and daughter's in London. I couldn't see them see any other purpose in our new life in the fight for survival. But today, when I entered the temple, I saw a future for us. I'm ready to face it. Glad to hear that. So we're going to keep raising hope as much as we can. When it, pretty much any time it's off cooldown, we're going to do it. Steel and steam cores. Faulty manufacturer. It seems that one of the after one of the boilers exploded, the pressure in the others was raised to maintain the power of the engines, causing them to fail one by one. Perhaps... The people building this dreadnought were rushed or used substandard materials. Lone boulder, broken tree. Alright, we'll go over here first. I have to start quick saving it because um, there's one of those garbage events that uh, is garbage. <laughs> Let's just go with that. We love those events, but it's the one where someone's going to die, basically, if we don't do something about it. So, uh, well, it's it's a randomly de random death event. Uh, you, you remember those? Those those are those are terrific and wonderful. So I'm gonna start basically after after this workday is done. We're gonna move some people around. I would like all the heaters though. I'm just seeing if there's anything else that's particularly useful. I mean, house insulation is also very good, but we we'll, we'll still have a bit of time for that to do it. So we'll just do. Eh, I guess we might as well just do this now. Food ration, and I guess we'll just do double food rations. How's our coal doing? Yeah, we're doing good. Okay, so... Yeah, it's just mostly wood that we need, and we have one guy coming back with a bunch of wood, so... I guess what I'll do is I'll start making more houses. Scouts returned, we got some wood, and we got some steel and some food. Okay. So, the, we don't really need them anymore, so I'll probably do something with them, and um, I'm going to start inspecting the generator as well. So, yeah, we Dreadnought doesn't actually do anything anymore. Uh, uh, the fact that it doesn't count as explored should tell you something, but we'll uh, go with that. Bring these people in.
I do want to make those lovely, uh... Oh, wait, I need to also make sure I, uh... Remember the problem I had last time where I basically disconnected it? Or maybe not, because maybe I didn't put it in the video? Yeah, but anyways. <laughs> Let's see. How's the generator inspection going? Not too well. Why? Because they're going to go built. Whatever. Let's just let's just start bringing people off of this. All right. Let's do houses of healing. So we. Uh, by the way, you absolutely need faith keepers for this scenario. One hundred percent. One hundred and twenty percent. You need them. But we can probably squeeze into into those first. What's it complaining about? The last dreadnought. The chief engineer of the team investigating the cause of the generator malfunction takes you aside. He is visibly concerned. I was thinking about the last dreadnoughts that brought us here. The one that we haven't taken apart yet. At first, we'd, uh, it seemed like we'd have to dismantle it to fix the generator. But now I think we may need it intact after all. Just in case, you know, we have to leave the city, I see. So, a little bit, he's a little bit concerned. So you can see the inspection's going. It doesn't really give you a timeline for it, but then again, like... I don't know why it's, uh... Oh yeah, it gives you a timeline. It's like one day. Yeah, so we have one day, 20 hours, and it's gonna finish in 16 hours. Yeah. We don't need so many people on this, then. Lone Boulder, a distinct spot in the Frostland. We can use it to, as a waypoint for further exploration. All right, let's have a look. So there's a snowy hill over there. Let's go check out the snowy hill. I actually do want to slow it down because I want it to just finish in time. Yeah, that's that seems like a good number. God, this is the worst uh, road layout. I'm, I'm, I swear the next captain is going to take over after me. It's going to be like, what on earth was he doing? All right, there's the House of Healing. Let's get our required death in. Generator condition worsens. Sir, odd creaking noises were heard from the generator last night. It seems whatever the problem is, it's getting worse. Rumors have began circulating the city. People are afraid that the generator will break down again. Must inspect it right away. I see. So the stress rises and discontent rises. So you can see it, yeah, it just, it just randomly went up the stress, uh, which is obviously good times. But we're okay, we don't need it, so. <laughs> let's see, let's get some more houses going. All right, get some people, House of Healing built, Hope Rises, good stuff. I like the event chain for the next part. It's, it's actually really fun. But there's many ways of doing it. But I, I, I'll go. I'll go into like the the two ways that you have of kind of going through it. Let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna need definitely another five on this shift right here. Yeah, let's do that. I don't. I don't want to make it close. So I want it to make make it like a little bit less than close. So uh, house insulation sounds good to me. Let's see. What else can we go into? Um. So you can't do that yet. I don't think you really need a power upgrade, to be fair. We might do it near the end, but I don't think that's really necessary. The stuff that's good is like, like, healthcare insulation is good, cookhouse insulation is pretty good too. Uh, actually, a really good one we could do right now is resource depot upgrade, because that's actually really cheap. Um, it's apparently, apparently this is not affected by difficulty, so this is always eight hours when normally things are like 13 hours. So this would be eight hours, I think, on normal difficulty or easy difficulty, but it's 13 for me because I'm playing on, uh, well, it, because I'm playing on hard, but this one is always eight, no matter what, which is really cool. And, and just one of those FYIs. Didn't, didn't even know that. All right, well, here's your your jerk. So, so dying old man, but, but wait, wait, didn't a child die last time when the, when I was a wise man? He will die a good death in due time, not from pain or recall. I, I die in peace knowing blah, blah, blah. Okay. So. Oh, the worker died. So I guess it is an old man. Because I swear it was a lot. It was, it was a, I swear last time it was a child that died. And I was like, uh, yeah, and they trolled my entire game and then I had to restart. That one child was the, the one, the one last hope of winter, winter home. Let me just say that right now. All right. Um, let's see. Heater efficiency, sure, why not? I don't think I'm really using them, to be fair. Uh, yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not using them at all. Oh no, I'm using them over here. That's that's a good reason though to to install the same. So inspection. Let's see. We're at nine hours left. And you, yeah, we'll be okay. I'm just I'm just trying to give it more time because I want to get the faith keepers. I might bring it down actually. 
Uh, so we have a snowy hill here. A distinct spot in the frost line. We can use it as a waypoint for further exploration. Alright, let's have a look. So there's an abandoned trailer. The abandoned trailer is an absolute troll, by the way. So we can go there, but... So remember, I have three steam cores and 400 steel on him right now, okay? Um, so he could die over there, and it's really annoying. <laughs> so... Uh, if you don't realize what what it will do, but yeah, I'm just gonna say I'm gonna I'm gonna save scum. I'm not even gonna lie, guys. I'm gonna save scum. It. Um, I I absolutely hate that one. So let's see. Let's get rid of this guy. We technically don't need all these healing places anymore because we have the two houses of healing now. But I don't know. I'll leave, I'll leave two tents up. Also, is this, uh, okay, I thought there was snow piled on this guy. Let's see what's going on. Generator is deteriorating. Sir, a frightened crowd is around the generator, anxiously watching jets of high-pressure steam escaping from a number of places. We must find out what's happening with the generator right away. People are starting to panic. Discontent rises greatly, so it just goes up a little bit more. But we got lots of time, so I, I'm good just doing it in eight hours, and that's fine. Again, you just have to do it before that, that little, little annoyance hits. It's gonna kind of make a bunch of houses. We don't need that many more than this, I think, because we're gonna we're gonna be starting to not have as many people in the city because we're gonna kill them now. All right, all right, all right, this one. Okay, well, first off, before save, 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 save before you do that one. I hate these events. Okay, Eve, whatever. I hate Eve. Okay, so, uh, so you go here. Uh, too heavy a burden. One of the enormous cargo trailers designed to be hauled by dreadnoughts. They carried all kinds of goods from construction materials to coal to food rations, to scout sledges to steam cores. The trailer is bounced precariously on the edge of a deep ravine. It was abandoned when the ice bridge cracked underneath its weight. We could take the supplies that could be safely reached or risk entering the trailer to carry out more. Take only what could be safely reached. This is uh, 152, one steam core. This gives you an additional steam core and twice as much steel and decide what to do later. I'm gonna risk out carrying. And of course they died, which means they died with all the fucking things that they had on them. Cause it's, it's it's at the end of like a long like event chain of stuff. So so if you're doing it on like Survivor, I don't know, man. Like you decide what, what you don't technically need it. You don't technically need the extra steam core. Uh, the snare is more than winnable without it. I just, I'm, you know, I'm greedy. That's how I am. So we have to carry out the supplies. There you go. It's like 50, 50 chance. I really, I, I don't know. I hate I hate I hate these 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 random death events kind of thing. I like it when it's more like you have control over it. I don't like it when you don't have control over it. Let's just go with that. Makes me fairly fairly sad. I'm thinking here that I actually might bring everybody off of this. I want to wait until I get faith keepers. So we're gonna wait for my my good friends the faith keepers. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pull everyone off intentionally. Three hours, this is five hours. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll just wait. Hey, you guys really like researching, right? Because again, I'm trying to I'm trying to make use of the, the, the most time I have, kind of thing. Let's see, two guys can finish other in five hours. Yeah. Yeah. This is why House of Healing are actually really good in this in this scenario as well, so I'm gonna actually disassemble this. That's where I'm gonna make the faith keepers. Because I wanna make the faith keepers first, just to make sure I have them. You do want them for this mission. I absolutely one hundred percent want them. But I'm trying to maximize the amount of like housing and stuff that I have here, so. I think the last one I might make over here for the house. Let's maybe do it over here. Okay, sure. Why not? We're gonna disassemble these houses anyways. The last bit I'm not gonna bother to change that, because it's gonna disassemble real fast. Let me just say that. 12 hours left. I'm, I'm just trying to make the best use of my time uh, at the moment, so. Okay, so last book of laws. We will go right into the faith keepers. There they are. So they could break up protests, blah, 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 all that stuff. If, if you're doing order, it would be the towers that you'd want for this. Discontent will rise, but they'll have to deal with it. I guess I don't really have enough space for two uh, care houses here. Oh well, that's not my problem, I guess. Let's see. Okay, so that's pretty much done. Let's see. I don't think I really want overdrive couplings, do I? 
Just trying to think if there's anything else here. I guess after this, it's just basically cookhouse installation stuff, so. How much time do we have? We have like nine hours. Let's just wait for this to be made and that's it. Long hours of toil. You can't for you, you can actually force them to work, which is actually pretty good. But I will I will not allow them to do whatever they want. I don't really need it in preparation for this, but I'm just gonna do it, finish it up anyways. Because I might as well, right? We have we have lots of time. Alright. So let's bring people off of this project and bring them onto this. Cookhouse installation completed. We'll do healthcare. I actually kind of, I, I do want it to just finish up. Although we're kind of starting to reach that point where I'm like a little bit concerned. Okay, now put them all on there. All right, we got ourselves some faith keepers. Hope, ri hope rises. I don't even know why that would be a hope rises situation, but it's some, for some reason is. Sing, brothers. These hymns truly work wonders. Our faith will guide us through the ice. Those who seek hope, raise your eyes to the heavens. Faith is the only hope in this frozen hellhole. Let's, uh, let us pray. Have faith, brothers and sisters. We will see the spring yet. I like I like that. That's 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 adorable. Nighttime procession. Just get that will fall. Sure, why not? One hope to go up though. Where's my temple at again? Oh, there it is. Sorry, I kind of mixed up where I was. I think it was like, this is the position. Okay, generator report ready. Our engineers have finished inspecting the generator. It has a catastrophic flaw. It will keep breaking down and each malfunction will cause a stress within the generator to start rising. We'll be able to patch it up using the repair station, but these fixes will not last for long. The generator will eventually break down permanently and will explode when, uh, from rising stress. Winter home is doomed. Coming here was a fool's errand. We should leave. The generator's dead, and there goes hope. All the way down. How are we supposed to survive without the generator? This place is a deadly trap. All right, we have to evacuate. Sir, the chief engineer says there's still hope. We didn't dismantle the last of our dreadnoughts. If we repair it, we can leave Winter Home and find another place to live. Yet people are very doubtful. Where would we go? There's nothing but a frozen wasteland as far as the eye can see. So you have two options here, all right? And I'll, I'll, I'll just, I, I'm gonna just outright tell you which, what's the difference between them, okay? You can lie and say you know of another city. You know of no such thing, but the people will believe you. Hope will rise greatly. Or you can say, I don't know where to go, but we have to try. People will lose heart, work efficiency will fall by 10%. So, first off, that efficiency falling by 10% kind of sucks. Um, also, the, the hope staying low is pretty bad too, because there's some events that you can get good outcomes out of by doing hope. Um, so, the difference is essentially when you say you, and this is kind of the way I kind of went, is I went like, oh, I'm just going to tell people I'll write what it is. Um, they become, I think, slightly less efficient as time goes on as well. It triggers a bunch of events where people deteriorate and they're just like upset, 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 upset. And I couldn't really get my hope to stay up with it. It might be still possible. I maybe wasn't doing it perfect, but that's it. Um, if you say you know of another city, all right, one motherfucker engineer like Mr. Zuck Mark Zuckerberg is going to come up to you and he's going to go, Hey, I haven't told anyone, but I'm pretty sure you're lying. So because I know you're lying, I want to leave the city first. Right. And you can either say, yeah, you're allowed to go or you can fucking kill him. And I would absolutely fucking kill him. You will, if you go this route, you are killing an engineer. If you go this route, because I would absolutely kill the engineer. If you do that, um, because it, what's going to happen is if you go down the, if you go down the chain of no f fuck off you I'm not going to let you do anything, um, he will tell everybody and then you'll get the second result anyways except they'll be pissed off right. So you're trying to maintain if you want to lie you want to maintain the lie and actually losing one engineer is a small price to pay for all the workplace efficiency you're going to have, you know. So I would actually like if you're if you're serious about this scenario I would do the first one. I would absolutely do the first one. That one's like the best one to do, I would say. The second one is like, yeah, you're gonna have to deal with a lot of events of people now. They're panicking because they, they know the city is doomed now. So that's that's what it is. But you'll have an easier time if you go at number one. You just have to kill someone, kind of a thing. So I'm gonna lie. 
Our only option is to evacuate as many people using a dreadnought uh, that we didn't fully disassemble. First, we have to build the evacuation center. Then we have to send engineers to retrofit the dreadnought. We'll need steam, steel and steam cores to convert decks in, for cabins of people on board, food rations to feed them throughout the journey. Okay. So now you know kind of why I've been making as much stuff as I have. So we can actually just put everybody off of the, the generator repair station. And there's a good reason for that, that we could do that. I actually have used most of them that I, I can. Uh, so we get a lovely new bit of tech here, the evacuation zone. Remember that thing I said at the beginning? There it is. That's where that goes. So we don't have an outpost station, we just have that over there. So we're gonna go make that right away. So here's a good habit to get into. Uh, you can do overtime for these as well. So here's what I can do. I can take everybody off of these buildings. And we're going to be doing this a lot. You're going to notice this a lot. I wish there was an easy way of doing it. And we're going to put everybody on this building. Wow, we're doing no research anymore, guys. So every, every night, what you can do, there's a certain... The generator always breaks down at about 1 a.m., when it does and you want to put people on the generator so malfunctions will be neither more or less severe repairs will take a normal amount of time adequate staff is what it currently have it at repair station improvements the evacuation of so many people will take time so we need to keep the generator running for as long as possible fortunately our engineers have several ideas about how to do it so let's take a look so there's an entire research tree now with uh, regards to the repair station pretty simple to do um, we're doing healthcare installation i'm just going to finish that off before we do anything else so we do like efficiency, less engineers on it, blah, 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 all this kind of stuff. But, um, okay, so as a general rule of thumb, when you're doing the, the evacuation, uh, whenever anybody wants to go, don't make any exceptions. <laughs> oh, here you go. So it never happens during the day, it'll always happen at night. So here's a repair for the generator. Generator failure. Sir, the generator quit suddenly. To make matters worse, its stress is rising. The main return valve must have failed. People are terrified that the generator will explode. Engineers are already working on a temporary fix. The repair station was fully staffed, so repairs will be finished soon. Hope ri falls greatly. We have to fix the generator before it explodes due to rising stress. We have to repair it immediately. So, um, it's it's the amount of engineers you have on the, on the generator station at the time it explodes. Or, well, it's not explodes. Has a malfunction. So it's gonna keep doing this. And that's why I took people off. So like 1 a.m., that's exactly when it, the failure happened. So I took everybody off and they're on this now. And so the generator itself is shutting down. This is why you do houses, by the way, because the houses will maintain their insulation. Uh, you can't overdrive, so I can't I can't do it. It's because it's off, it's malfunctioning, blah, blah, blah. So, and that's it. So they're gonna fix it really fast. It's gonna be like a ninja fix right there. Man of the Dreadnought. Sir, the evacu evacuation center is operational. We can now send engineers to Dreadnought. Once there, they'll be able to start restoring it to serviceable condition using the resources we sent them. All right, let's take a look. All right, so there's your engineers. We have to bring 25 over there because it says here, I think, 25 to the site. We have 12 days to do the to start that evacuation, but that's fine. We can we can spend a little well. We don't want to. We we actually want to send them there sooner than later, actually. So. And this is why we're doing some insulation upgrades too, because there's going to be some times where they're not going to have enough heat, and we're going to have to maintain the heat within with the uh, with it with the, the engineers that we have. So we can get that going. Let's see, broken tree. Uh, there's a mass grave, so let's go check that out. So this one was a pretty simple one to do. And generally operational, it. Uh, it, and you can turn it on safely. However, the next breakdown will be more difficult to repair. If you keep engineers employed at the repair station, they will monitor the generator. When it breaks down again, they'll repair faster. Okay. So let's turn, flip it on to level three. Keep the range at one. Take them off, and they can go right back on to science now. And this does not count as... For some reason, they're just allowed to do the 24-hour one. So, like, uh, they're allowed to go on the generator. And they will not break down again until potentially the next night or night after. Again, you can actually just download, like, uh, a list of when the generator breaks out. So, if you really wanted to, to just know when it does it. But, like, this is just easier and I feel, like, less cheesy. But then again, it's kind of cheesy, though. So, because I'm doing full research still. So, technically speaking, I don't need this many people doing this anyway. So... Uh, so yeah, going down this, it wouldn't be bad. Uh, you could do, you can advance the generator repairs by 10% by using wooden steel. You can also do a repair station. I would rather raise the efficiency of the repair station. So, 
So the next day they will work completely. They're just going to eat and that's it. They don't care that they've been working 24 hours. I could, uh, I, I probably should also send the, uh, send the 25 engineers out. So I'm probably going to do that. This is why I said this, this mission is actually fairly low on engineer count. So I'm going to start shuffling them around. This is why houses of healing are really good. So you can see where my engineers are now just all in science right now. And if you were to have like infirmaries, like you'd be really boned. <laughs> so, so it's kind of, it's kind of a, a little bit of a problem, uh, to say the least, but anyways, we will send out the first one, 25 engineers on site, zero 25. Let's send them to the evacuation center. So there's our little dreadnaughty boy that's going out there. Because I guess the sooner we start on the dreadnought, the sooner we start sending out all the resources I need to bring out. I don't think it's going to be close. There's probably some more timing that we can do. So it's it's heading out to the the, the dreadnought right now. So so we have we have, we actually have a menu for that. So yeah, number of people aboard and all that kind of stuff. They have it. They have an entire menu for that. Which is amazing, so. But now we can get to the point where we actually start disassembling various things, so. Let's see. Two, three, four, five. So it's starting to get to the point where we do no longer need some of these things. So let's go start disassembling some of it. Prayer station. Important thing to upgrade is faster outpost teams. So now, outpost and resource transports will move 50% faster. And evacuation transports will move 20% faster. Do that. Because that's that that helps a lot in in this whole mission. So, and like I said, what I'm gonna do is the minute it turns into night, I'm gonna take them off, put them onto the the research thing, and vice versa. I like I said, it's we're not looking up anything. It's just literally I'm just reallocating them to the whatever to the repair station. And like I said, apparently the game's fine with that. I don't know why, but it just is. So, I might need more. Uh, I might need more space actually where's the uh coal i gotta change to food rations so minimal staff so if it breaks down now it'll basically screw up but it only looks at the time it breaks down which is funny how that works out so cool we got that one done okay so that's gonna be going as fast as possible let's see so i i would say repair efficiency and also optimize shifts would be good uh Repair station will employ fewer people, sure. We have less engineers now. That's probably a good one to go for uh, right now. Because, again, I'm going to have to do it every single night. But I've already redirected everyone, and the only people healing now are these these two houses of healing, so. Steam cores. So, counting the dead. We opened up the mass graves to count the bodies. is a difficult and gruesome task. Many of them were torn to shreds by the explosion. We have heartbreaking news. After adding the bodies here to the, those from the last camp, it seems that everyone who is traveling on the third Dreadnought has died. Several steam cores were left here as gravestones. We decided the living need them more. Take the resources. And that's it. That's the last one. So, if you let this guy die, you, he could potentially die in the abandoned trailer with seven steam cores. Now, that's kind of important because you actually need steam cores to get the, uh, get the Dreadnought going. You can't lose the mission, uh, by the way. You just have a very reduced set of things that the, 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 the Dreadnought can do, because I have 11 hours until it goes, and you'll see how many it needs. I think in general, like, you get, like, one... With the extra Steam Core I have, you could have the Advanced Wall Drill, and that's pretty much it, so... So, okay. So, as a habit, and this is going to be the habit we go into. Right. Okay, there we go. Optimal Research Repair Station. So we're going to let it do a little bit here, and there we go. So they're all, they're all off now. We start shuffling people out of these buildings awesome awesome strats that we could do and we sunk to sink the ball to here and you see they're just all working so one's gonna go to sermon some other stuff but you know it's 47 people so is that is that all the people i have left well i have one i have one in this 24-hour facility but that's fine i'll take them off in a minute we can always have one working 24 hours if we want to kind of thing it's it's kind of good to do i guess you know at that point so Let's go also keep the hope going up and discontent going down. So we'll see how it goes in the end. But this is like, yeah, totally legitimate strategy. I'm going to put them into here, do this, and there you go. So apparently it doesn't remember that they were already working a 24-hour shift. It just lets them work another 24-hour shift. So based, they will never sleep on my on my watch. 
But I'm just going to give it a heater so they keep going. All right. Uh, with that being said, we now have another one. Field kitchen is not bad to do, but not fantastic either. I don't really need them, to be fair. <clears throat> um, we're not going to go any higher because that would be crossing the line. Apparently, putting your engineers on 24-hour shifts does not is, does not count as count crossing the line. I guess this is a good time to do organ transplants. Because, yeah, we're going to have those sick, but it, uh, honestly, it's doing fairly well right now. So... We're doing excellent on that on that front, so... And then we're going to have to start sending out generators, uh, or generator parts or whatever, so... We'll have to see what, what's going on. We have a lot of unemployed people, so... Evacuation transport has reached it. Okay, here we go. First crew in place. Sir, the first crew have has already uh, just reached a dreadnought. They can now start refitting it. People, uh, the people will, we evacuate will need cabins and food rations. If they don't, um, if we don't make sure they have them, they'll die during the journey. Uh, the more people send, the more they'll need. You'll have to balance this to ensure a successful evacuation. To convert the first deck into cabins, we'll need 300 steel, one steam core. To feed the people currently on the Dreadnought, we'll need at least 250 rations, I see. Okay, so we can now get a nice little menu here of things that we can do for the, this thing. So, a um, little bit of spoiler, I guess it doesn't really tell you, but um, only 500 people can fit on that Dreadnought. This is why I said the amputees are a no-go. I guess these are amputee children, now that I look at this. That's why they're prohibited. I don't know why they're separate, but... Because we, we have them right here, idle children here. So, um, we have essentially 55 amputees. Uh, and amputees require steel. But that's why we didn't bother with it. We're not gonna, we're not saving them. They're, they're gonna, they're being left behind, I can tell you that right now. Because uh, there's not enough space on the, on the, on the... Whatever on the on the dreadnought for this, we can't we physically can't do it. So you have to make some sacrifices here. <laughs> Let's just go with that. So in every dreadnought, you can uh, sorry every uh, evacuation, you can send out 50, up to fifty people and twenty five hundred resources. And the resources that you need is like uh, it kind of gives you an idea here. Deck one, it's about so in all in all, it's it's nine thousand steel and what's that like uh, eight ten ten steam cores. So I have. Two steam, uh, two steam cores right now, and I have uh, some more on the way with this guy. Seven more, so I probably can. I, I'm, I'm probably gonna have to reduce the level of this uh, advanced wall drill by one. Because remember, you don't, you never lose a, a steam core. You always get to repurpose them, kind of thing. We could also take it from the automaton. We can still get it from him if we wanted to. That's also an option. But we kind of need the steel. Uh, you can see I, I've been trying to get 9,000 steel, and I barely have enough for it right now. So, but it's because I did build houses and some other stuff. So. Uh, that's kind of what you need for that, and it needs a fair bit of rations too to go with it. So, so what I'll do is I'll give it like 500 rations. Let's see, that's the most amount of steel I can bring for it. So there's all the all the steel. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reduce it somewhat too because I want to make sure I have a bit to go here still. Provisions. There we go. So you get to kind of divide it however you want. I can only put two in here, huh? So, yeah, we can just do something like that. I'm just trying to divide it up so we free up some of the resources. And we're going to send the children first because they're worthless. And there you go. So that's what you do, and that will be the first transport we send out. So, and you get a cool out. So that one has to reach over here for us to send out another one, and it's 20 hours. Evacuation. We retrofitted the dreadnought to provide basic accommodation supplies. You now enough coal. Uh, you have to send enough coal to start it. Then it will be ready to launch when you give the order. I think it's like 5,000 coal is what you need. However, there's still a, bit, uh, a number of people left in the city. To evacuate more, we'll need more cabins and provisions for them. Otherwise, our journey will end up badly. How you proceed the, with the evacuation is up to you. Okay, so once you get the amount to start up the dreadnought, you can just leave. So you only need 5,000 coal. I have about 5,000 coal right now. Uh, so you don't have to do this if you don't want to. Probably should do it. Uh, but that's why I said we're going to go for the best outcome. Because I'm pretty sure anyone we leave behind is going to die. <laughs> so. All right. We did not have a we did not have a generator failure last night. So let's go put everyone back onto everything. Easy peasy. There you go. So like I said, it won't it won't fail during the day, I'm pretty sure, so. And with that actually being said, every time you bring people out, you'll notice that we have 90 vacant beds. We can now just go start destroying the worst tents, essentially. 
So this is what this is why I kind of said like I wish there was a hockey for this, but there really isn't. And I think with that being said, we now have 20 vacancies. Yeah. So we're gonna remove worse housing as as we go, kind of a thing. And that's that's kind of the thing. You can keep people in tents the entire time, just have like one or two things of housing. I made way more than I probably should have. I'm not even gonna lie to you. But yeah, we need to keep the food going as well. Uh, so keep making that those sawdust meals, delicious, delicious sawdust. You also get like the 100 percent 40, 140 uh, percent efficiency. Like these are really good because you like you notice there's a substantial shortage of engineers for this mission. So I kind of like said like, hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna just do that. So so either insulation, hunting tactics wouldn't be the worst one either because. If we employ less people at the hunters' houses, that means it's more people that can go away to, essentially the the dreadnought. So, because we we had a lot of people to begin with, but I think we're getting to that point now where we don't want to get that blackmail. All right, here we go. An engineer. This is Mark Zuckerberg. I'm telling you right now. An engineer takes you aside. He lays a, uh, he lays before you a map of the area around, around Winterholm. I know you lied to us. <laughs> <laughs> there are no no known settlements nearby. I've kept this to myself. I haven't even told my wife so far. In exchange for his silence, he demands to be sent to Dreadnought with his family. So if you ignore him, they will tell he will tell everybody and everyone will figure out you lied and hope will go down, efficiency will go down, blah blah blah. Worse than before. Um you can agree to his demands. You send two engineers and two children to the dreadnought on the next transport. Um and then other people will see the favoritism and I think they figure out why he got to go first and they will say they want to go uh, as well or they tell you to come out clean either one uh, best thing to do kill him <laughs> whoops what happened to them so which engineer died the one over in that one yeah okay there you go <laughs> just 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 kill him <laughs> it's not it's not worth it Long hours of 12, you can force some work, you get no disadvantage for that. All good. So, just just kill him. I'm, I'm, I'm not even kidding. Like, don't, don't, don't bother with him. Kill him. <laughs> just, he's not worth it. He's, he's just absolutely not worth it. So. Young and fragile. Uh, sir, a doctor who tended to our children during the journey north is here to talk to you about the evacuation. The youngest ones are should, should be evacuated to Dreadnought immediately. The conditions here only get worse and we can't take risks for the health. So if, if you say you can't afford it, hope will fall. I think this one you can do without consequence. Uh, but however, however, there's also an important distinction you need to think here. You can say you're going to send all the children. Remember, some of them are amputees and they cannot make the trip. Do not do that. So say you're going to send 50 children to the Dreadnought. I think that will be fine. Yeah, yeah, 50 is fine. Just say you're going to do that. Don't say all the children. You will fail it because, they, like I said, they are amputees and will say, oh, little Timmy has no arm and he can't go. So uh, if you, yeah, send the youngest children, it's fine. <laughs> It'll be fine. It doesn't actually really distinguish between that, but we have like a lot of children available. So, you know, we're fine. Probably gonna start rearranging some stuff here. All right, there we go. Now we have a bunch of people available. So I want to do healthcare installation, I think, is what I'm going to do next. Now, now you can see we have a bunch of workers available. We don't actually need any more anything here, I think. So it's an easy way of just passing that little test there, so don't even worry about it. We'll be okay. Scouts have returned, there they are. We can now disband them, they're fine. All right, yeah, and then we're just gonna basically continuously send resources over, basically food rations, coal, steel, whatever else we need. Mostly steel, steel's kind of the important part. All right, wait, oh wait, okay, hold up, pause the game. I almost forgot to put everybody on the generator. So, I, I know it's a little bit annoying because we have to basically do this every time, but it's actually the easiest way of getting through this. It makes it so straightforward and so simple. Uh, I'm going to take off a couple more because I'm going to do another one where we overtime that. Because I'm not sure if it will uh, be a problem, but, it, you know, just in case. Because they're only going to go eat. They're fine. It's okay. They can go eat all they want. Okay, evacuation transport reached it. Okay, so we send out our next one. 
Again, I'll max out on the children so we can get that out of the way right now. Steel, I want to make sure I keep that going down. We could also we could also take all the steam cores with us right now because I, I, I I'm not going to need them. But you can see it's actually not enough. We're missing one steam core, so we can just we can just do that. We need four for the last one, essentially. Uh, what I'll do is I'll leave a couple here. Do that. Provisions, all the food we can bring. Coal I still haven't brought over. Uh, we'll probably start bringing coal in the next wave. Because I'm just, I'm just trying to bring the steel out first. So that's pretty good. Okay. That's a full transport. You send 50 children to the Dreadnought Hope Rises. Excellent. So, like I said, if you did the other way, they would go and go, Oh, wait, you have to bring children. <laughs> you have to make the, them prosthesis, so. So, alright, here we go. Stowaways. Sir, so we found stowaways in the evacuation center. Some people are afraid that they're un unwilling to... They're afraid that they're unwilling to wait for their turn and want to make for the Dreadnought by stealing supplies and hiding in, in, in transports. If we let this escalate, we won't be able to carry out the evacuation or leave faction. So if you say, I see, they will just leave or they'll start trying to go, right? Now, this is the this is the important part. No exceptions. Nobody gets to leave from this point forward. Like, the children, fine. I don't care. But, you know, send the guards in. No exceptions at this point. Ooh, that's cool. Look at it go. That was pretty awesome, actually. It, it actually just dropped in and, and grabbed all the people and stuff. No exceptions whatsoever. All right, let's see. Limited space. We have some bad news uh, concerning Dreadnought. The space aboard is limited. We can and should build additional cabins, but we won't be able to save everyone in a winter home. Rumors about limited space have already started circulating with people. People are tense and anxious. I see. Hope falls, discontent rises. Uh, let's see. We're going to try and counteract that a little bit by adding some more. So, I think we can put them back in. Whoops. We're gonna just do some more researching. So, no exceptions is, is, the, is the name of the game at this point. We will not allow anyone else to go. No one else gets to leave. Because if you do that, then it's just gonna be like, little Timmy wants to go, and someone else wants to go, and someone else wants, and it's just gonna, it's never gonna end. <laughs> Alright, we'll do... We'll do some additional repairs. So, with that being said, we should now have even more ability to get rid of tents and stuff. I think this guy is pretty much done. Okay. And yeah, we got already got rid of that. So, what's our housing situation look like now? Vacant bed. So, we have two tents, three bunk houses, and 47 houses. And I think I've already disassembled those, and there's no vacant beds anymore, so... I think it's just counting the ones I have marked for deconstruction. So we got rid of our basically our shittiest one first, so which is good. Okay, emergency repair two. Doubles the effect of emergency repair. So whenever we do that, it's like 200 wood, 50 steel. And we can effectively do that, so that's going to be kind of good. Oh, we get another law here. All right, so. Uh, moonshine would be bad. Uh... Yeah, d d remove discontent would be okay. Care house is what I was kind of thinking of making, but at this point we're really low here to on this thing. I don't know, we might just do that, just to... Because they'll eat less rations and stuff, so let's just do that. Why not? I have to figure out where to make a care house, though. Why does that not count? Oh, that's why. What is that place? Oh, something over there. So care house. Important thing is to have it inside of a heat zone. But that may be easier said than done. Because, yeah, I pretty much consumed all... I was going to put them in the middle here, right? But I don't think that's happening. To be fair, we don't actually need both of these... Uh, we don't need both these cookhouses anymore. We could just remove one of the cookhouses. Eh, I'll just keep it just in case, because I might I might need more food than that. The the nice thing about this as well is that they're gonna actually need less housing anyways, because I'm gonna build that. Pain of separation. Sir, my only son was sent to the dreadnought. Can I go in the next transport to join him? His mother died in the Great Fire when it took our house. He has no one left but me and I I'm afraid he won't survive alone. I cannot make exceptions. Don't. 
do not do that absolutely do not because it's just gonna be constantly over over and over again people are gonna be like well you let him go it gets it gets progressively worse so don't, don't do that don't that's it his son is there and yours your son is fine don't worry he'll live you won't um anyways let's see we got this guy we got all that okay i think in terms of i think i could probably do killing upgrades if i wanted to we're not going to bother with the fact we're not going to bother with slides because we're not doing anything else here. We could, like I said, we could do like janitor upgrades for the power. Um, Overdrive couplings wouldn't be bad either because that the, the the safety bypass would allow it to. We're not going to actually use the overdrive anymore because obviously you've noticed that it raises the stress pretty significantly. So we're doing pretty good on coal right now. So we're a okay on that. So let's see, care house. So that. There you go. Care house is done. We can actually just heat them up now. Make sure that they're steaming. So he won't wait. Sir, one of our workers wants to leave uh, Winter Home to reach the Dreadnought on his own. It's the father you didn't let ascend to join his child. Should we let him go? No. I don't care if he gets... I don't care if he, he goes. I'm going to stop him. You don't get to go. He became gravely ill? Fuck it. Wait your turn, asshole. Yeah, exactly. You're right to stop him. Everyone wants to leave. Pretty much. That's the problem. We can remove this uh, thing now. Don't let people leave. For the love of God, this, it's just going to get worse. So it starts at really small where you're like, oh, that sounds like a like a, like a a reasonable story that, that, that they're telling me. Everyone has their sob story, okay? All right. And it looks like we're good here. So let's start removing people from here. Go put them onto the generator. So yeah, and this is this is pretty much the name of the game while we're waiting for the uh, everything to go. So we got forty people, and we can get a couple more. There we go. Okay, so we can set another transport over. So let's have a look. So we have forty-six children still available. I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm sending the kids out first because it's the easiest action to send out. We're starting to get to the point where we're gonna have to start removing various parts of our. Um, faculties here. So again, I'm going to prefer to take steel with me. Also, food rations are pretty much required, too. I'll, I'll, do, I'll just do something like this. That's okay. It's going to take a little while to do it, but I, I'm pretty confident we can get a full one going here, so... Here, here's your generator malfunction. So, it failed again. Sir, the generator is broken down again with it. It's just rising. People are gripped by fear. The worst nightmare is, seems to be coming true. The damage is worse than before, and repairs will take a lot of time. Our engineers are working on a temporary fix. The, the repair station was fully staffed, so this should be done fairly soon. Hope fall, falls greatly. You have to fix the generator before it blows up from rising stress. So this one will take eight hours. And we could even increase the time by advance it by 20% if we want to. It has a cooldown of like four hours if we wanted it to, but I don't really feel the need of sinking any resources into it right now, even though I have a lot of it. So, Brighton family. Sir, a, f a family with the children um, is going to Dreadnought to uh, evacuation center leaves for Dreadnought alone. Well, I'm scared. I don't want to leave, uh, cries the kids. Hush, dear, and we'll be brave. We'll be safe if we get to Dreadnought before all the cabins are full. Definitely stop them. Uh, do not let them go. <laughs> I don't, I guess, I guess my disc, my hope is too low, so I can't get them to stay right now, but I guess it's a little bit too hard to do on, uh, if you're not, not going fully into the, uh, uh, what's it called? Cause like, like if you look at all the stuff I have, I did, a, did a lot of hope stuff. Like I just don't have the field kitchens and stuff. So I don't really want to go down the public penance side, but yeah, I guess if you become protector of truth, you'll be able to do it. But yeah, so generator is malfunctioning, going down. But it will go pretty fast, actually. Oh, one sec. You guys can come over here and work overtime on that one. But they'll 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 do pretty good. So, all right. Repairs are complete. You can turn on safely. Unfortunately, its performance has fallen, so all heat zones will be 10% smaller. The next breakdown will be more difficult to repair and will have more severe consequences. Heat heat ra range reduced by 10%. So that's going to be a progressive thing. It gets worse. We could actually raise the range, but we don't need to. And again, yeah. So a little bit, little bit of an interesting strat to just take engineers on and off it. It's pretty cool, though. I, I enjoy it. 
Yeah, it's one of those things that, like, uh, one second, get the overdrive going. So this guy actually counts as being outside the grid now, so does he, why? I guess we're gonna have to do the range setting too. What about you? To be fair, I could actually just easily just put these to range setting too now. To fit that. That's fine by me, because I, I actually have a great abundance of coal. So, we actually have enough to start it up too, so. So we can actually put these all to a heat level too, and that's it. Uh, this guy is a problem. We could just heat it normally. Actually, to be honest, I don't really mind putting the range to two. So there's going to be a couple of people sick, because people get sick every night when the generator is basically screwed up. And as you can see, this doesn't actually hit these guys anymore for some reason. Yeah, it doesn't hit those ones, because it has to hit the middle now. So to fit that, I actually have to go over here. But what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to give it that, because that's, I think it's like substantially more power, isn't it? One second, which one is it? Okay, we don't need to overdrive it. Yeah, it'd be like, it'd be doubling the coal, so forget that. All right. Stress goes down lower, so we could give it, we don't need a range upgrade, like I said. You don't need range, you don't technically need the power upgrades, but at this point, I actually have like a lot of, uh, <laughs> I have a lot of stuff at my disposal now, so I can just kind of do whatever I want now, so. Um, hothouse insulation, yeah, we didn't bother with that. I'll, I'll give it another, maybe I'll give it a generator efficiency upgrade, that's what I'll do. Just uh, save a bit more coal. And is it ready to go? Yeah, it's still coming in. All right, let's see. Longer has a toil for some work. What's the discontent right now? Emergency shift. What do you mean the generator isn't working? It's working now. I guess it says needs, but it's totally working. Uh, I guess the discontent just stays high or something. I don't even know. Again, I, I don't know how to ever get that other event chain to get going, so I don't know. We'll just we'll just say like it it uh, whatever I don't know. I, I've never gotten it to be like proper for me, like it like to basically uh, convince them to stay. I don't know. It, it seems like it's great difficulty to get that to do, do its thing. I guess I'll give it another power generation level. All right, so we got another evacuation transport. Let's have a look. So I wouldn't mind bringing a bunch of. That's all the food that we need. Actually, that's the end of it. Um, let's see. Bring some steel with us, sure, and people. So we can now, let's see, where are the rest of the children at? Let's see, 10 over there. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start taking out workers now. And this this is right now with me not actually putting any any people into any, like, uh, what's it called? Um, this is all, like, all, none of the engineers are assigned into work, healthcare right now, so. Yeah, that's pretty much it. One second, we gotta get all the children going. Okay, there you go. So the workers are going now, that's fine. Send it out. So what we can start to do is we can start doing some of these outside houses. But they have insulation as it is. Oh, and also on top of that, don't forget, workshops. So, you, I don't think it happens uh, back to back and night to night, but it's good to get into this habit of every night you're going to just put them put them into the generator. So, which is amusing. <laughs> they can just continue to do that. But it's it's a good way of getting like the best outcome, you know? Like if you're trying to get through to the, the to the end. That's why I'm like I kind of looked at it, I'm like, yeah, I'm pretty sure I could do this in on like survivor difficulty with these strategies, you know? We're gonna just, uh, yeah, one second. Yeah, the house of prayer is fine. So, housing wise, we got 91 vacant beds. So, I can do another one here. Just gonna start removing houses. If they're, if they're not cold enough. I wonder if this is a better view for this. It kind of is, isn't it? But it's fine. Yeah, we've already disassembled everything, so... Hunter's hangar, that's fine. Okay, we're good. 
Yeah, so not everyone's gonna survive this. Let's just go with that. All right, we got another law we could do. Oh, wow, prosthesis. Yeah, no, we're not doing that. <laughs> I mean, organic fertilizer, we ironically have a lot of corpses for that too. So, you know, it would be not the worst thing. I think I'm gonna do the moonshine. Lower some discontent. Let them get drunk a little bit. So no, no generator problem this today. So we'll just uh, make sure because it always does it in a way where it will always be something that you do in the morning, hopefully before work starts, kind of thing. Again, and that's why you do the houses because the houses mean that they're in their heat zone is is an insulated home, so they should be okay. And they won't probably get sick, but the, the answer is probably. All right, we got we got another heat zone. I'll keep it at three because we don't actually need another one. Uh, let's see, what else can we do? We can do another efficiency upgrade. That's not against them, against everything. I mean, we could also go down to efficient gathering. Again, you wouldn't be doing this if you weren't doing what I'm doing right now, which is like, you're basically diverting workers around when you probably shouldn't be. <laughs> so, uh, you can work over time. That's a huge discontent increase, actually. So I'm trying to give it as much food as possible and all that kind of stuff, so... Alright, what's your problem now? Pragmatic approach. Sir, some of the engineers are here to see you. They want to see you about the evacuation. Without our skills, there's no chance of the expedition succeeding. Only a few of us have been sent to Dreadnought so far. Grease the chance of us reaching somewhere habitable. We should be ev evacuated as soon as possible. So you can say, I will send all the engineers, which means no one will be able to fix the generator. It's the stupidest thing I've ever, I've ever seen. You have to send 25. Not... It's definitely doable, but you can also say, I need you here, which is actually reasonable. I do need you here, kind of a thing. So I, I see their approach, right? But they're they're right now the only thing that's keeping the generator going, you know? So I'm going to let hope fall in this case. It's only fair. They could go later when their work is here is done. The generator is in really bad shape and the engineers are needed. Yeah, well, it is in bad shape. Oh, yeah, yeah sure. <laughs> I, I'm not totally making do research right now, you know? Uh, let's see, gathering post installation. That works for me. Totally not doing that right now and totally not being a scumbag. All right, so let's get another one going here. All right, we can definitely, let's see. So do we have any other children working somewhere else? We have them working in the in the warehouses here. So let's go move them around. All right, is this the old one? No, that's, that's the same one. Okay, so 10 children, 38. We can have more people come though. Okay, so the maximum amount we can have, all done. Okay, so provision-wise, so there's no more food that we need. We're actually done on food. Uh, at this point, it's just steel plus uh, coal at this point. So we're going to be looking to do coal as well. So there you go. There's 2,000 coal in the, in the Dreadnought already? Did I, did I send that over? I guess I must have sent that at some point. All right, well, that's pretty good. Wait, transport is empty. Wait, did I do something wrong? Oh, no, it already was sent. What, what's it sent with? Yeah, yeah, okay. I, I don't know why. For some reason, I just got, like, bamboozled for a second there. All right, so with that, we can go remove this guy, remove this guy, remove this guy. So we're just slowly disassembling all of the buildings. We don't need that many cook houses. We've already finished all the food that it needs. Uh, let's see. How many houses do we have available? And again, this is just steel, right? So we have 121 uh, housing free. So we can start getting rid of some of this stuff here. So let's go one, two. So you just disassemble as you see fit. Nighttime gathering. Oh wait, let's see. This would be, uh, yeah, that would be efficient gathering. That sounds good. Also, insulation sounds pretty good too. We'll do that first because I actually don't need any more coal. So at this point, I'm just doing it just just because. Why not? You know. Okay, we cannot get that last one out, so let's put him back in. All right, so we have free time again. Once again, we take them off of science and we put them onto the thing. So yeah, 
If only there's a way to automate it, but I think you weren't intended to do this, so... I'm gonna go out on a limb and say you were not meant to just completely put them on there every time. It more comes with experience of knowing that that's when the generator is gonna break down. It's always at like 1 a.m. So... You just have to have that knowledge, I guess. Let's see, we don't need coal. Let's get some not food rations. Probably I'll just put the wood in, just because, why not? Because we're disassembling stuff for more wood, right? So We could also probably just uh, d uh, downgrade this guy too. Let's do that as well. We're putting it to an advanced... No, that's not the right one. Steam wall drill. It was not, is that not okay? I guess not. I guess I'll wait until the end to put that in. We don't, we don't really need wood, to be fair, so... Alright. So, no, no malfunction this night, so put everyone back on to whatever I need to. And that, that one, that one uh, engineer will be idly standing by. Because we don't need food anymore, we just need the steel. How much more steel do we need in the in the generator? Let's have a look. And remember, remember how remember how fast I sent that in, right? We need four thousand more steel. I I kid you not. So we're gonna we're gonna overdrive these or not overdrive. They're um, <laughs> gonna make them work. But then again, you know what? I have seven days. This is a, like a big rush towards that. So let's right, so have like desperate escape. So the, uh, with the mood so low in the city, people are desperate to flee for the dreadnought before it's so full. Some of them have been, uh, raided the stockpile, stealing food rations of wood to equip themselves for a journey. Should we stop them? So you can either let them go. Discontent will rise greatly. Hopeful fall for some people will leave. Or use lethal force, which some of them will die. Which three people will killed. So, you know, I, I'm just going to do that. They... I'm not going to let them leave, that's fine. That's why I said, like, I don't think there's really a good outcome that you can basically keep everyone alive. It's just really annoying, but you you got to have to do this, you know? I don't know how to convince them to stay, because it's like, well, you'd have to go way down up the line, I think, or something. You know? You, it's just, it's it's hard to do it, so. But, you know, what can you do? All right, let's have a look. Uh, let's see, adaption. So I don't think there's anything else in here. We can do House of Pleasure. There we go. Hope we'll fall slightly, but it's fine. We need more prostitutes. Uh, we could do another House of Healing as well. That's also within the realm of possibility. Longer has a toil for some work. All right, evacuation transport has reached it. So we can continue to add some coal. Steel is doing pretty good though, which is nice. Uh, let's see. I'm just trying to think of who to take out now. These are the problems you come into. I don't think I need so many of these guys now, so we can start to remove hunters' hangers. So let's see. Uh, let's... There's also that outpost team as well, which I don't think they're making it here, but you know, whatever. Let's see. Okay, all the steel I can put into there, all the... I, I'm gonna have to give it another steam core. Coal. Yeah, I'll just I'll just do this. All right, so I'm the transport out. So I'm going to now probably just disassemble this advanced wall drill. We don't need so much food anymore. We're we're pretty good on food at this point. And definitely don't need that anymore. Oh yeah, there was one of the care homes over here. I forgot about that. I kind of split them up in. Well, I don't think I need any... I guess I already have all the fish and gathering. I guess I don't need anything else here. No, I kind of look at this. I could give him a killin' upgrade, for all I care. I don't know. I, I probably don't need the killin' anymore either, because, yeah, we're just uh, we're just at this point removing things at this point. I don't think we need any of this anymore. There's there's actually, like, nothing I need. Because we, like, we have 199 people and 52 engineers to still move out, and the Dreadnought has enough space for, like, I don't know how many more. Does it tell you? Number of board, 275. You do some math, it's like... I don't know, what is it, like... A two... 225 or something? Or... Yeah, 225, because there's 500 people I could fit on there. So, like, the next couple of ones are going to be pretty much that. If you look at this, we have, like, pretty much... Yeah, we, we have barely that much, so we'll be, we'll be kind of removing them. 
I'm just thinking if there's anything else. I, I could go down the prosthesis line kind of thing, just in case I have some left over, but I, I don't think I need to because it's science requires uh, uh, steel to do, which is why I don't want to do it. So, so at this point, we're actually going to just uh, say we're done science. Science is completed. We're going to disassemble all of them. And the killing as well. No reason to have it. So, this will be the last one we do. And yeah, get rid of that one too. Done. Oh, these two as well. There's no there's no reason for me to do any more science. It's just a waste of time. <laughs> I, I It's like the new home scenario again, you know? It's just like, why? Why bother? But it's, it, you know, I, I find this to be a very therapeutic mission because I'm just like, you're just disassembling things slowly is what you're doing at this point. You know, you're, you're kind of just finishing up, you know, saying goodbye to winter home kind of thing. And I don't want to quite rush it all that much, so. Convert decks to cabins. So we have a little bit more to go with that, so. And and remember how fast I sent that over. I sent it over fast, like the, the steel. Pretty much it was the second thing I went after, and it's like, and I've been up prioritizing steel upgrades, and it's not, it's like barely going to be enough, you know? But I'm, this is why I'm disassembling things, because, yeah, uh, potentially I lost some steel in some of these resources, or maybe should have been 24-houring them more often. I should just realize I actually need to have them be heated. But yeah, no, it's like, fine. 39 amputees. Did someone die? Who died? I guess the guy who died was an amputee, based. <laughs> Works for me. But it, uh, again, I can, I can never get discontent to go low enough. Yeah, I can never get discontent to go low enough. Now yeah, the problem I have, so... Evacuation transport has reached it. Okay. So we got... Coal I need to bring. So that brings it to the 5,000. All the steel I can. And the rest of the... The steam cores, right? Yeah. So where are people right now? And where can I di divert them from? Probably here. To be fair, I don't think we need any more food. This is, this is enough for us now. Uh, let's see... We could probably start bringing those engineers over to one engineer. Yeah, so there's no more children to bring. We can take out one of these gathering posts because I did make one too many. Whoops. That was not a noise. I hope you didn't hear that, actually. <laughs> I just realized I have... Okay, I don't think you heard that. Never mind. Ignore that. Yeah, I record through OBS. Let's go with that. And uh, <laughs> some guy decided at this moment to... Why is it? It's in the background or something. I don't ask. It made a noise. Let's just go with that. And it's a noise you shouldn't hear. So let's do workers here as well. That's funny. <laughs> I <laughs> I kind of freaked out a little bit. I'm like, wait, am I streaming? <laughs> I'm a pig. I'm doing it for you guys. I love you guys. I don't want to stream this shit. <laughs> I love I love El Pig. It's great. Anyways, um, yeah, so we got the rest of this. There we go. So now the resources we can't fill up all the way, but we're doing good here. But we do need to get these guys to do like 24 hour shifts now, for guaranteed. Here, have like another one. Actually, we don't we don't even need this anymore. We're good actually on that. All right, how much uh, housing do we have available now? Let's have a look. Uh, 84 beds. So again. Disassemble mostly for no other reason than the fact that we want to keep them, keep get the steel back basically. Yeah, I, I think we have enough food at this point. I, I can safely say that. I'll keep the temple going though. I may have to kind of make a zone over here, and I think I will do that. Mostly for that care house. Because I'm going to disassemble that at some point. Actually, don't keep one alive. I'll, I'll make this the last zone that we have. So, Because everything else is, yeah. I don't feel the need to rip up roads. There's no point. Because we're just keeping it as this. Because we have like, yeah, 149 and 52 people still employed and that's it. But the food ration depletion is like how much per day? It's, uh, yeah, 206. So this is definitely going to last a little, and until the end of the campaign, I can guarantee that. 
We do have to keep people, uh, a couple people employed around, though. But the, yeah, they're definitely those, um, those, uh, scientists are gonna be the last to go. Or, sorry, engineers. I'll put them on the last, uh, one coming out, so. Because once we do that, it's, like, it's, it's over, over, so. <laughs> that, but, yeah, that steel is ridiculous. Like, just, like, how much it requires, it's, like, crazy. Here we go again. Ser serious fault to shut down the generator and cause stress to start rising again. The mood amongst our people is verging on panic. Many talk openly about leaving their posts and making for the dreadnought. The, the damage will be even harder to fix. The repair station is fully staffed, so repairs will still be, be completed in, uh, in a reasonable time. Hope falls, you have, to, you have to fix gender. So this is what I mean, like, can I even convince anybody? Because I don't think I've ever been able to do that, convince people to stay. Because my, my hope is low, my discontent is low right now. But like, how can, like the only way to keep hope high enough is to like, basically go all the way up here to like, whatever, so. I'm like, I can't, I can't I'm not doing that, so. All right. You know, let's uh, let's make a prosthesis just to just to just to tease the the, the the people. This is our last law. Look, I could make them, but I'm not going to. That was the repair. Okay, so here we're let's just, let's actually speed the repairs. Look at that. Look at that. That's pretty good. That's pretty neat. You can actually get it to go pretty fast, actually, with that. I mean, it used like 50 steel, which is why I kind of didn't want to do it, but you know. Uh, I guess we gotta send out another one, don't we? Yeah, this generator is looking pretty good right now. Let's see. I'll bring the one person over because he's free. What other people can I take off of work right now? Probably the coal stuff. We don't need so much coal anymore, I guess. We do need this steel, though. We absolutely need those. What if I put this down to generator level one? Okay, 21. Just looking at where I can take people from. Maybe the Faith Guards? Oh no, there's another uh, thing here. Hunter's Hangar. Get rid of that one. Let's see. Generator is operational. Heating level reduced by one. Heat zone range reduced by a further 10%. Negative 20% total. Yeah, so with that being said, Dreadnought Fuel. Sure, we've uh, filled the Dreadnought with coal. From now on, when you can, uh, we can start when you give the order. We can raise its capacity by converting decks to cabins. Uh, and send more people with food rations, but people are getting more anxious by the day. So may try to get to the dreadnought without permission. This might endanger the mission and evacuation if we don't have enough cabins and food for everyone. We'll suffer from illness and starvation all during our journey. You must decide when to launch uh, the dreadnought and safely evacuate those on board. Okay. Well, not not now. So we can we can go at any time we want. So good to know. Oh, I see. The heat zone is reduced again. Demanding how to how to shuffle this around. I guess we don't really need the cookhouse anymore, so we can do that. I'm just thinking about like how to rearrange my people, kind of a thing. Because what do I have them doing right now? I guess we don't need the public house anymore. We can just dismantle that. Because I just need someone working on coal. I need. I guess I need faith keepers, don't I? <laughs> uh, debating who to bring around. Just like I'm just looking at this amount of people that I have, because they're they're all working coal right now. That's where they're all at right now, and and steel, which I need. Okay, well, let's do something like this. I'm sure we'll have enough coal, and it'll be fine. So there we go. Resources. Let's see. Anything else I could bring? Some more steel. That's it. So all we need now is a bit more steel, and then some more people, and then that's it. So let's go also disassemble this. That's why I put the care house over there, because I'm like, that's the best place to put it. And that does it for that. Is that everything? There's also the temple, but we, we don't have to get rid of that. I can just leave that the way it is, so. So we're, we're looking for a little bit left of steel. I'm, I'm not sure how much we still need. I wish it would just give me a, a straight up number, but it kind of doesn't, does it? I think it does on the Dreadnought panel. Yeah, I know I need 4,000 total. That one's ridiculous, by the way. That last one is like 
What are you doing? You're just like making a deck from scratch. Is like the upper class echelons. The lords go there. That's what it is. All right, let's have a look here. Repair station. Nothing to repair. Full staff and consumption is not terribly great, but we have a lot left over. So, what's going on here? Long hours of first summer work. Dude, like, are, are you kidding? This is like the final stretch, and they're gonna be like, hey, I don't really want to work that much. Yeah, no, I just, I'm, I just don't feel. I'm kind of depressed for some reason. The city's about to blow up. Homeless citizen six. Oh, interesting. Better have a tent. They'll go on the next one, so. Right at the evacuation center. Morale, uh, morale amongst people is so low that the desperate mob has stormed the evacuation center. They've looted 726 food rations, 439 wood and, and steel, and they're leaving the city. Situation scan of lethal force. Okay, 10 people died. Okay, maybe we don't have enough to fully man that, that building anyways. Oh, some engineers died. Well, serves you right. Dude, they're gonna go, but yeah, whatever. I don't think we have much left to do here anyway, so... Oh my god. What's going on here? Why, why is there nobody here? Disposing of corpses. Okay, well, I may I may need an additional house of healing after all. Even so, the faith keepers died. Damn. Yeah, we don't need them anymore. This is what keeps happening. And I, like I said, I don't know how to convince them. Because, like, uh, I, I think the criteria is pretty specific. But yeah, it's just how it goes, I guess. It's how you have to do it, so. I'm trying to get as much steel as I can, though, because that's that's actually the thing that's really important to me right now. I could probably keep the generator going with just a kill in now, actually. Because I shouldn't have let that one guy go. Well, I guess we don't need that tent anymore. <laughs> Alright. How much space is still in the dreadnought? Let's have a look here. Um, we just need a little bit of... Uh, Everything now, let's have a look. How much steel do we have? Yeah, I guess I'll just wait for the steel to come in. How many people are at the Dreadnought right now? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's see. I wanna I wanna fully launch it. Like that's what I want to do, but yeah. Uh how many people are at the dreadnought? People it doesn't really tell me here, does it? I I'm just trying to see how much space I still have on it. People. Oh yeah, here they go. 400. Yeah, so I can send 25 more, and then the last one I send will be effectively the last one we ever have, so. Okay, I guess over for this one, I'll send this one over here. So what did I say? 25 people, right? Yeah. So who's the lucky 25? I guess you guys. Dude, if only they would wait. Like, what a bunch of assholes. Just, like, I'm sending... Well, not everybody, so I guess that's why they're panicking, but yeah. And all the steel I can, right? Yeah, that's it. I guess the rest of them will be the engineers and stuff, but I'll send them last. That's it. How much more steel is that? A little bit more. Like, like, like two more ships of this. Because I have, like, four days left. So I actually have a lot of days left. How much? How many days of coal do we have? Four days. Yeah. So there you go. We get, we got a bit of time to to do this with. So you know what I might do? I might actually turn off this this guy right here. And there's actually nothing we can do with the bucket laws at this point. So I'll just leave that leave that closed. Uh, is there a reason why? Oh, I guess I don't have the cookhouse anymore. I just realized that was a not a smart idea on my behalf. We don't need to have it manned, because we have, a, like, way too much food anyways. Can I, does it work when it's unoperational? Yeah, it does. These uh, are going to be the heaviest lifting faith keepers I've ever seen. Like, like, how could they carry that much food? I don't understand. That's like, that's like a huge, like, amount of food that they're bringing with them. Yeah, there we go. Yes, let the hope rise. I mean, do we have, uh, do we have any housing here? 29, so... We'll get a little bit more out. 
So if I lower this by one heat zone, what will that do? Yeah, it makes it too much, so... That's, that's why we do this. Because, like, I have, like, zero discontent and a little bit of hope, but, yeah. I'm not sure how else you would kind of, like, make it go better, but, uh... There's, pro there's probably a path you could you could get everyone to kind of like live through that kind of thing, so. There goes the generator again. Generator core is damaged. Sure, we have to shut down the generator due to stress rising again. It was a close call this time, but the core seems to be severely damaged. The, the news of, uh, has caused panic amongst the people, but we managed to restore order, at least for now. Our engineers will find a way to patch up the core, even though the repair station was fully staffed. It will take time. I'm going to do it right now. I don't really care, I think. I think I'm kind of good with just using heaters to heat everything. This is why we have all those upgrades. So. But yeah, I don't I don't have anything else I could really do with these people. I'm, tr I'm trying to get them to do as much steel as possible. That's where they all are right now. Either either that or inside the, the House of Healing. Here, yeah, you go work over here. But like, we don't need it at this point. We're actually pretty good because we have all the insulation we could possibly have and all that kind of stuff. I mean, this guy doesn't, but he's kind of screwed, so whatever. But, like, hope as always goes down. 20 freezing. Why? Where are you freezing at? You're at the repair station. Oh, is that freezing? Oh, that is freezing. Interesting. Okay, good to know. Sorry, I, I wasn't paying attention to that. So that's why you need heaters for this, too. But we have we have level 3 heaters again. Yeah, Janner is completely off now. Honestly, we probably don't even need generator anymore. Generator repairs are complete. You can turn on safely, but it seems like this will be the end of the line for us. The damage is so severe that the next malfunction will be impossible to fix. A generator will shut down, start accumulating stress, and finally explode. To make matters worse, the performance layer, layer performance has been catastrophically reduced. All our heat zones will be colder by one level and smaller by a further 10%. We have to evacuate. So. So yeah, they're gonna go. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. So it will be impossible to fix. So I'm going to take engineers off and these guys off and that, this is going to be the last one we go on. Is that it? Is that the, re the remainder of it? Yes, that would be the remainder of it. So I will send all the engineers over as well. That's a fully stocked uh, dreadnought. See you later. Smell your lords nader. It's... What did I even leave behind? I don't even know. The fate is disabled. Sir, an amputee wants to talk to you about the evacuation. I don't know how I'll make it to the dreadnought. The climb pl to the plateau is far too difficult. If only I had prosthesis. I lost my limb uh, working to save the city. Don't forget about people like me, sir. I think I already did. The dreadnought's full, motherfucker. <laughs> I think I think I totally forgot. I forgot, and that's that's it. So let's give her some more houses. Let's see. Yeah, that one's done. That one's done. That's why we don't really need all the coal, because it keeps, like, failing anyways. So why is this one failing to keep this... He oh, because the heat zone is still going up. I think. Oh, it... it yeah, yeah, never mind. It catastrophically failed. Right. You have to put on steam level 4. Oh, interesting. Yeah, so it, it barely does anything anymore. What a useless generator. Based. Well. How much more houses do we have? Let's say 19 left. I, I don't know why I'm still destroying them. We're, we're pretty much done, so. It's about the message. It's as, in, it, as efficient as possible, so. You know, I don't think we're... Are we going to get the event for uh, that? So there's a reason I kept those little engineers alive at the other place. So. Well, luckily there's nothing else needed here. It's going to warm up a little bit here, too. I don't think we got that event, did we? Yeah, the storm shelter's still up. Let's uh, get some guys out there. One second. So it's a I think it's like a 50% chance to get the event. So it happens at the end, so... We'll see how it goes. But yeah, Winter Home's screwed, so nothing you could do. I wonder if you could, like, do emergency repair, but there's literally no staff on it. So, long hours of 12, force them to work. <laughs> then you get to make it to the Dreadnought, so what can you do? Alright, evacuation has reached a transport. Alright. Evacuation com 
complete. You did, sir, you did everything you could. All the dre decks of the Dreadnought are converted to cabins filled with people, and there's enough food and rations in the hold for the journey. All it remains to do is launch it. So you can launch it, and the game will end. We'll set it on due time. We'll just give it a little bit of time. I'll give it a nice little quick save. But I think I think I didn't roll the... I think I didn't roll the thing. I'll tell you what it was afterwards. I think it's like after a day or something is what you get. So we did get a full Dreadnought going, so... Like I said, best possible outcome. This is why I said I wasn't really sad about people dying, because, you know what? Do you really think those 66 people or one engineer? I don't know where the engineer is, actually. Where is he at? Is he, where is he working, actually? I don't even know where he is, but let's say The generator is failing. So the engineer is monitoring that there, there's one engineer. Warned us that the ultimate failure is imminent. The pressure to the critical systems is so widespread. We when we pressure, um, when we patch a pressure leak in one place, two spring up somewhere else. There's nothing more we can do. I see. I guess we'll uh, lower it a little bit because we actually. Well, I guess we kind of need to get some more coal going because it's gonna fail in like 21 days. I guess. Okay. I guess we'll just leave him here. I guess the outpost team dies too, but yeah. Again, this is the best possible scenario, so I, I can't imagine any other way of doing this, so... There's no, like, alternate endings or anything here, so, you know. And there's just a couple of, uh, little... little things that they talk about that, like, are, are related to different events in the game, uh, so... Just, uh, waiting for it to kind of go... I'm just seeing if it actually does go away, but I think... I think we... I think we got unlucky, guys. I think we got unlucky. So, okay, so the event that you get, I'll, I'll, I'll give it a couple more hours, I'll see if it, it comes, but I don't think it's coming. Yeah, okay, it looks like it's not. Alright, well, I'm gonna just call it done. So, uh, there is an event, it's like a 50% chance to happen. If you have the storm shelter uh, still here, uh, you get you get an event where they talk about the, how there's like smoke in the distance, and there's a scouting team that you can send out to go to the storm shelter to, to basically you, you get another place you can explore. You send the scout there. I got it actually on my first uh, on my on my kind of test run. You can send them out to the the place, but it's not every time. You don't get it every time. We got unlucky. Sorry, but they basically go. I'll, I'll put on screen what the event is, uh, what it, what the screen say. But effectively what you're doing is there's not enough time to for the scouts to go explore the, the distant smoke and come back to the, the Dreadnought. So the Dreadnought has to leave without the scouts. But the whole idea is uh, there's not enough space on the Dreadnought anyways, so you know, you might as well send this, the, their whole thing is like, they might as well send the scouts out, so maybe we'll find someone, maybe we'll tell them what happened at Winterhome. So that scout team is the same scout team that will come into Winterhome to cause the New, Lund New Londoner crisis. So so, so the uh, the crisis where the Londoners want to leave and go back to New London, or sorry, Old London, not New London. They want to go back to Old London in, in, uh, in the uh, New London scenario. That's who you send out. So they're the assholes that basically caused the whole crisis. <laughs> So you can send that out, uh, which is really funny. You can do that. Uh, that's always great. So yeah, there's also the steel bridge that didn't do anything with the iron deposit. I could also send them back if I wanted to, because I saw that automaton. But you saw that the, the, the steel was pretty close. I had like 1,100 left over, even with doing it right away. So it's actually a really, really tight scenario, actually. But we do have the best dreadnought scenario. Like I said, everyone who doesn't make it on there, they're probably dead. That you know, this is this is not related to the Great Storm, but the Great Storm is still coming in, you know, and they're gonna die. So, anyways, yeah, these scouts go and they can then go tell New London about the 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 fate of Winterhome. Doesn't happen every time. That's it. Some other events that we didn't see. Uh, there's an event that can happen if you have a lot of children left in the in the scenario, where they'll talk about bringing the children out to some caves to to basically to hold out. That would be the children in the caves that you see also in, in the New London scenario. There's some there's some children in caves, and so it's implied that they came from um, Winterhome, as well as in one of the future scenarios, there's children in, in, in another um, coal mine somewhere. So that there's a there's some references to that as well here. So the canon ending for Winterhome, I believe, is the, the uh, you got it to like, I think about 150 people. Uh, and mostly children, I think, and the Dreadnought did launch, uh, is, is the canon ending, I believe, is, is kind of how it works. So you only got, like, three bars, I believe, of it or something. I, I don't remember. Or maybe, like, two bars, I don't know. So you launched, you launched, you did launch a Dreadnought, and that was it, so, um, 
yeah, and then basically Winterholm dies. I think that's pretty much it for kind of like the canon endings and stuff. So this is considered canon, this whole this whole scenario of, of what you do. Because Winterholm did fall, and then, yeah, the Dreadnought, they, I guess they did have an evacuation Dreadnought, that's what happens. We don't know what happens to the Dreadnought once it goes. Um, so, yeah, just, just telling you that right now in terms of story. Um, that may be alluded to in the next Frostpunk. We'll see. That's why I'm kind of excited for that as well. Um, but yeah, so that iron deposit, you absolutely need there. This is not doable without it, I'll say. Because I had, like, what? This, this scenario has been, like, there almost 26 days. I think, I think I had 20 things of iron deposits. So you do, like, basically 4,000 steel I got from this deposit alone. You can't get any more than that, really. It's, it's, it's rough. It is, it is seriously rough, but you do need that to, to keep it going, so... Um, and yeah, the amputees don't make it, whatever. They can go screw themselves. Uh, like I said, I, I think this is just, like, not a, a scenario where you can keep everyone alive. Not everyone makes it out alive. And I think, I don't know, I, I'll try, uh, at least for the next two, next scenario at least, I'll try and keep everyone alive. But probably for the last one, I won't. But it's a, it's an insanely difficult one. It's a, it's the hardest one. And it's, it's I think, like, still my least favorite just because of the amount of annoyances of, like, restarting. Because you're like, oh, man, I did one little thing. Like, you, you saw everything happen. This is the one I'm the least familiar with, too, because it's my least favorite. So, But I still really like it. I, I still have a lot of fun with it. So, anyways, without further ado, let's go launch Dreadnought. Sorry, I've been stalling. End of Winterhome. Once the expedition leaves, there is no going back. This will be the end of Winterhome. Are you sure you want to launch Dreadnought? Yes. Oh, I got an achievement. Oh, apparently I've never fully upgraded it before, so I got an achievement. <laughs> I didn't even know they made a sound on Steam now whenever you do that, so. I, saw, I thought I did it before. I must have barely not gotten it last time. It was just a bit of steel left, but yeah. <laughs> there goes the generator. Fate of Winterhome, the Exodus. When... When the orders came to leave, we all ga we gathered together. It seems like almost all winter home was here. We thought with the grief and the gratitude of those who were missing, with so many saved, it felt like so much more painful to leave those few remaining souls behind. Through our hearts and heavy with guilt and surviving at the expense of others, we rode uh, the dreadnought into the white void, gathering what was left of our society and leaving our home behind. We did not look back. We knew the fate that awaited winter home, the end. So this is the this is a scenario where I I did kill the engineer that was going to tattle on me, Mr. Zark, M M Mark Zuckerberg or whatever. Um, way too smart for his own good. Silenced him, you know, killed his ass. <laughs> I I think that's the best way to go. I think it's just like that ten percent efficiency, maybe matters for that steel as well. You could do it either way, but I think like no matter what, the hope falls, right? I think either way, it's like not a big issue, I guess. Uh, I, but the, the cost of that one is engineer, you might as well just kill him. <laughs> just get rid of him. So. Vigilant Keepers, amputations rise in arms of prostitutes. What? <laughs> I don't even know. Hey, you can see all these shits all of them. We did the unthinkable, did we? Oh, we murdered to keep secrets? Yeah, okay, so that's what it does. It does change the ending slightly. I, I would not consider it like a better ending to do to tell the truth necessarily. It's just a different one. But you know, it is what it is. And you can have the you can have it go pretty low the all the uh all the all the efficiency and stuff, so it's kinda of fun in the way that like the city is built up and then it gets torn down kind of thing, because you're you're basically cannibalizing parts of the colony for uh or your, your city for your uh, Dreadnought. So Dreadnought Righteous. 500 souls. So maximum maximum size Dreadnought. So. As I said, like, it's uh, it's a it's the best possible scenario you can get. So pretty good. So I'm glad I got that one out of the way. <laughs> this one, this one's like a doozy. I'll say that much. But yeah. Um, that's why, like, I've never done it on Survivor for that reason. Because I'm like, I th think I attempted it twice. Restarted both times because I screwed up something. I'm like, oh my god, I have to tear up the roads again. So, you know, it's 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 rough. But, you know, I, now that I've kind of done it as much as I did, I think with my thorough understanding, I could probably do it. But I uh, obviously didn't do it. So. so next up is Last Autumn, which is actually my personal favorite. Uh, well, favorite beside Arcs. So... I think everybody likes Last Autumn. It's really good, so we'll be we'll be doing that soon. So, thanks a lot, guys, for tuning in, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Have a good one. Fuck what, Jerome. <laughs>